What up, everybody? This is Ray Dangs, a.k.a. The Culture Referee. You already knew that, but what you didn't know about, I bet, is a new distribution company called Two Loss Distribution. They're the most technologically advanced distributor in the world. They distribute your music to more stores than any distributor out there, and they only charge you $3 a month. Yep, $3 a month. And they don't charge you any money to collect your royalties, so you get 100% of your royalties. Y'all know how some of them distribution companies be asking for, you know, it's distribute with us, but they take 20%. These guys don't take any of that. They charge $3 a month to distribute all your music. And if you use the code GODS, which is on being the bottom of the screen, when you add your discount code, you get three months free. So if you're looking for distribution, you need distribution, you're looking for the best distribution company to work with, Two Loss is the fastest growing distribution company out there. Mess with them. Tell them Ray sent you. You gonna get some money off. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Tamara, aka Girl from Harlem. It's your cousin Juju. It's your boy Bergen, Jack Dance. <laughs> we try. Every time he he like the Simpsons, bro. He always have a different intro. I'm like, right, man. Just turns for different. I'm like, right, man. And this is Ray Daniels. This is Ray Daniels, aka the Coach Referee. And this is the God Show. <laughs> Today we have a very special guest. I love this dude, man. I love watching the progression. I seen him from 17 year old kid hey. being the king of crop to the man with the mink coat. <laughs> what Let's is give it, it to my brother, your brother too, Scrappy! Yeah. Yeah. By the way, me and Scrappy been wanting to get a show yeah, for man. about six months. Like, I've been that, I've been that girl, girl, like, I want to be on. Let's do it, bro. But, but you, be saying, you be saying shit that, like, I be thinking, and I be like, man, ain't nobody going to say that shit, bro. <laughs> like, Ain't nobody going to say, like, y'all gave the music industry to a whole bunch of kids. Yes. And, like, y'all, y'all, how y'all thought that was going to go? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all got rid of all the black people that knew better. Yeah. And then brought in new ignorant black people. That don't and know shit. And now you're wondering why you don't have no control over hip hop. Because exactly. if you don't know where they come from, yeah. you don't know how to talk to them. How are you going to help them? They don't even school them on their history. They can't, though. You feel what I'm saying? They can't, because showing them their history is empowering them. And they don't want niggas in power. No, nah, like no, nah, I'm just saying they do what they do. They 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 take the new artists and they the A and R or the, the the head. You know when you meet the head of the label, the person that owns shit, you feel like you just you made it. Like you be like, oh shit, I'm in here. And that motherfucker sit you down and tell you you the first one did this shit. Mm -hmm. You the only nigga motherfucker. You the only motherfucker that done did this shit. Like look look at all this shit. How you. And you be like, huh, you're not going to tell that motherfucker <laughs> that it was 80 motherfucker that came before them that right. did all that same shit. Right. And they just happened to be in the good window. Like, tell that motherfucker that shit. He's in a good, she's in a good window. That's why you lit right now. Next year probably won't be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> real. That's real. Just be honest. Yeah, if just you be honest nigga, with him. If you warn him. You still going to make the money. Like, but if you warn him, he might look out for it. My mm -hmm. uncle used to tell me when I was a kid, I was thinking about this yesterday. My uncle would always say, man, you got to break the cycle around here. This family's fucked up. Every time he got cursed, I was scrappy. <laughs> Every time he got treated like shit. Man, Ray, this family is fucked up, man. You got to break the cycle for this fucked up family. So as soon as, I, as soon as I became a man and I started realizing, oh, I'm in the cycle. I got to break this shit. Yeah. Oh, damn. And it was like instant. But that's the importance of yeah. having someone just to kind of warn you about what's coming in front of you. And they don't even want to listen to a nigga like me. Come on, man. When I tell them, I'm like, bro, like, I, I know you fly. I know you get down. I know you can rap a thousand miles per hour. But it's more than that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to watch out for these motherfuckers. The motherfucker that's telling you, like, hey, you're the biggest shit in the world. Mm -hmm. Watch that motherfucker. Why would he tell you some <laughs> shit like that when it's... <laughs> A billion people in the world, like He's it's like, like three, four billion people in the world, you like you cannot be the biggest person. Like it's, it's like you got dreams. Go after the motherfuckers. On top of that, learn the motherfuckers. Learn your dreams, nigga, because your your dreams is a lesson too, nigga. Mm -hmm. Not just your failure, nigga. All this shit's a lesson, nigga. The whole thing, your whole journey finna be a lesson. Take all that shit. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna stop. I like where his mind is at. I let's let's go there. Hold on, hold on. Take you got the mic on. <laughs> Oh, what's her name? What's her name? Get Tutu. Tutu! <laughs> Don't play with Tutu. Tutu, Tutu, Tutu been, she been up all day. Wait, hold on. Wait, you guys talk about breaking generational curses and okay. being men, right? Yep. So, like, as the first kind of successful people in your family and trying to, what do you want your legacy? Like, what do you want the next generation that comes from you to learn and make sure they don't pass on to Man, their I, legacy? I want, I want my son and my daughters, my nieces and my nephews, all, um, I want them to just have take accountability for their shit. I want them to mm. I want them to 
live in reality and not this sh- the, the, this other shit. Like, I don't want them to live in Instagram and social media. <laughs> I want them to live on top of it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What do you like, mean by that? On top being of it. on top of it, like knowing what it's for, knowing what it is, and knowing what they're gonna do with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like because like this shit now is just like thrown out there. Mm-hmm. They don't tell you this is how you're supposed to use Instagram. Da 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 da. So you got parents giving their little babies Instagram and then get mad when people talk 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 about them. Like you like, cuz you just like I tell my my oldest, I'm like, once you get on social media, you already open the door. So you how do you shield them from your current like just working in reality in the reality T V space? Like how do you shield them from that world? What you mean? Because there's a so there's two different aspects of Atlanta, right? Right. Where you have the Atlanta and then you got people who are not from here, they be like love and hip hop Atlanta. Yeah. So like there's a few different ones because you got you got the Real Housewives of Atlanta, yeah, the Real Housewives yeah, you got that Atlanta, so, you got the, the, the you got music Atlanta, you got the re- reality TV Atlanta, and then yeah. you got, you got the eyelashes real Atlanta. and wigs, and you Atlanta. in both. Yeah, I'm, I'm in both, but you gotta understand <laughs> if you take reality TV out, right? You got this new Atlanta that, 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 that reality TV don't even matter. You feel what I'm saying? This is like the new Atlanta that learn off rap. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They learn off social media. Mm. You know, they don't learn from love and hip hop Atlanta. They learn off the thing you hold in your hand. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? The iPad, the phone, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's their teacher. So so that's why you got a lot of motherfuckers come down here and be disappointed. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh man, you go to Atlanta, you gotta watch out for the man. Mm. You just can't make it in Atlanta. Yeah. Mm. You just can't make it in Atlanta because Atlanta ain't easy. Yeah. Atlanta not easy. Yes, everybody think that there's somebody, which you should. Everybody <laughs> think that they going to be the number one nigga to do this, which you should. But the fact that everybody believe the shit is just... <laughs> asinine. It's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, a motherfucker that... A motherfucker, listen, I'm not saying that you should downplay yourself and I'm and not go at your dreams and goals and believe it. But at some point, you have to look at this shit and be like, okay, it's a billion motherfuckers and they already got that shit. Mm-hmm. I need to be doing something else. You know what I'm saying? I need to <laughs> grasp some shit, you know what I'm saying, to further my life. And I have some expectations too. Right. Mm-hmm. Not to fucking be famous. Cause like, yeah. like, like, who gives it? Like, everybody famous. Yeah. Mm. Everybody is famous in your own genre. It, 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 on Instagram, you're famous, you got followers. Listen, bro, it's like, yeah. listen, bro when I was, I never when I was about before That's I ever got on Instagram, before I ever made a music video, mm. before I ever made a song, nigga, I was a dancing little motherfucker. And they had, I had all, every school I ever went to, I had that motherfucker lit in the hallway when, on Friday. You feel me? Thursday and Friday, I'm going to light that bitch up. I'm going to downbeat that bitch. <laughs> the nigga that can dance yeah. high school is a nigga. Yeah, the nigga I'm gonna be doing can, all that the shit. The nigga that can dance high school is a nigga. Man, I'm doing all that shit. I'm lighting that bitch up. And guess what? I was famous for that. Just in my school. Yeah. Mm. Just on my side of town. You was a nigga. I was that nigga. We go to the club. Everybody come to. They be like, Scrap and Mickey Mouse, they going to be in the club dancing. You feel what I'm saying? I already done did all. I, nigga done been famous. You gonna be famous in your job space. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can be the the. Everybody know that you can be the the. the you can be the super sexy yeah. nigga at the job. Like all the whole want you at the job. <laughs> everybody talking about you when they go home and shit. Like or the super bad chick that's like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. you famous already. You don't mm. need no extra I like shit. That. But they you know when you get that Instagram, that shit just boosts that motherfucker all the way Take thirty thousand. You know what I'm saying? The nigga, nigga the likes, it, the, the comments hey, behind you. Keep going. Listen, keep bro, doing you. The woman that the nigga had that was his bitch at the house that was cool at first, cuz is looking at him like he a sucker right now. Cuz is like, she she like, nigga, I, <laughs> all the niggas at my job love me. Like, I mean, <laughs> like my boss, he want to eat my pussy every day. Like, and I, <laughs> and, and I just really, I just really just, I'm going to make the nigga give me some more money just to think he going to eat it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody already there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when you come to Atlanta, man, you got you to gotta really be up on your shit and know who you are. You know what I'm saying? I want to ask you a question. <coughs> you are uh, grown, Scrappy. Yeah. Talking to 17-year-old Scrappy mm. that just signed a record deal. Yeah. What are you telling him? What advice are you giving him based on what you know now? I'm telling that nigga, man, wait. Mm. Wait. I'm telling that nigga, man, learn something first. You know what I'm mm. saying? I'm telling that nigga, go longer. See what that shit feel like to be independent a little more longer. You mm. know what I'm saying? Because you, you was popping. That's yeah. why you got yeah. signed. Yeah. You were black, bro? 
Yeah, yeah, for real. Like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Before we, wait, 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 wait. Before we go on this, I want to ask y'all something. When you think of, you don't want no problems, problems. What club does that bring y'all back to? Like, where we at? Like, what automatically be like? You know what? I was, I was getting thrown out of Libra. Not thrown out of Libra. Juju okay. been being bad his whole life. Okay, so, okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all oh, something. When when problems drop, I have, I have to be honest. When problems yeah. dropped. I was passing out flyers trying to get in the music business. Wow. Uh-huh. So, but I'll tell you what problems represented to me. To me, problems represented the moment where Scrappy stepped out of the Trillville crime mob moment and became like, okay, he's the one. Mm. And that's what problems no was for you. Yeah, it was the I'm moment because it was like you, it's just you and Lil John in the car. Yeah. It, it wasn't the training day concept. Yeah. See, I I, I remember. I just know I was passing out flyers. But <laughs> that was my favorite movie. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it was all my like. Yeah. Still to this day, my favorite act. Yeah. So I saw I saw that and yeah. I was like, ooh, that video represents John passing him the torch. Yeah. Saying he the one because you got introduced with another group and then you had another group right under you. Yeah. So it was kind of like you was- I ain't, a, I ain't gonna need a lie to you, bro. All that shit was against me. All that shit mean? was against me. I because, can understand that. Because Headbuster had been out for for three years before I even met John. Mm. Before Trivial even came out. Before mm. Crime Mob even came out. Yeah. So I already had it already. People already had been going crazy about it. Yeah, yeah so, motion on the east side. Yeah. I so, know it is. So, so they, I so, was when I so, the, so when Never Ever came, that's, that's fresh. Yes. That's, that's new. Like, yeah. it was like, oh, everyone was like, oh, yeah. my God. Nucky V. Buck is new, fresh. Ah, uh, even to this day, it come like the way the crowd receives it, everything is just how it came in. Yeah. They, they, they receive it as scrappy. Trillville and Crime, crime Mob. They exactly. receive it that way. You know exactly. what I'm saying? They, I'm talking about that's how they take it. They like, I want to hear it just like that. Yep. I went, when we come out on stage, it, when we get together, we do it, we give it to them exactly how they want it. You know mm. what I'm saying? And I always looked at it, I was like, damn, bro, like, my shit, my shit really OG. Yeah. <laughs> because they shit, all they shit came out like way later. Yeah. And they got way more response off they shit yeah. than I did at yeah. first. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the actual crunk shit hit once John came in. Because y'all had two records at the same time. They had. No, 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 no. Okay. I had my head. I had Headbuster. Headbuster was yours, and they way had before. never way ever. Before. Okay. I'm talking about three years. Headbuster was already I'm, going crazy. I'm talking about, talking about uh, Miss Shanika. Shout out Miss Shanika. Shout out Miss Shanika. Um, DJ Triple. Yeah. Steve's in high school. DJ Triple J. <laughs> what, what was his name? Triple J. Uh, used to um, uh, ball head. Used to uh, uh, do the shit. Do the uh, mix show and shit. At 107 when it was hot 97. When when it was Empress Cersei and Miss Shanika. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. who was their DJ? Uh, that what I'm saying. Triple. I thought, triple it, was, I thought it was triple. his cousin. I thought it was his cousin. Um Cersei's cousin was the DJ for that show. I can't remember, but um one of them niggas, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they 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 played my shit, bro. I, I actually let me tell you how how corny, but <laughs> <laughs> it was corny, but it was like I was I was on my dream. You know right, let's go, like, let's go. Listen, Tell do us. what you gotta do. I, I, was, I was sitting there, I was like, I ain't had no ego in me. I called the radio station, and this was when uh, Coco Brother was there. Coco Brother. You know what I'm saying? And he picked up the phone. I was like, oh, shit, nigga, pick up the phone. <laughs> What's up, boy? Who, who it is? It's, uh, hey, man. I was like, man, it's scrappy, man. Hold on, did you call the main line or the back line? I the called main. the main line. Oh, oh they, they you had to up. keep calling. Right. And they, that back yeah, line was I different. Kept, yeah. I kept calling, yeah. and they, they picked up. And I put my motherfucking, I put, I turned that bitch on and put it on on the speaker, and the motherfucker was like, "Hey man, what the fuck is like?" You, you know, they were like, "What's what going on?" <laughs> yeah, that that's, playing. We saw that's how you bus. got your shit. We saw hair, but and everybody like, man, yeah, they were like, "What's head. going on?" That's and then cool. and then they hung up on me. I said, "What?" I heard it on the radio though. That's it. <laughs> Say what you want. It was mm. on the midway. <laughs> I looked around. It wasn't nobody in there with me. I said, "Boy, that shit made it to the radio." Mm. It came through my that's speakers. That's brother was breaking. Yeah, he, he was, was breaking. He shit. broke. He broke and shit ET, so much that they ET, rechanged their lyrics of a nigga, song. Nigga, the listen, franchise boys did. Let me tell you something, bro. Et was. Like doing the the board for him at the time. Yeah. E.T., the one that, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Shout out to E.T., my nigga. Man, let me tell you, bro. I met Todd I one now, too. Him. He was doing shit Todd for him, too. Uno. So let me let me tell you, bro. This is before that, anybody, it's before Trillville came out, yeah. before they even made a song. L.A. and Trillville yeah. was doing promotions with, with Lil, Lo and Wallow and Smurf. Man, nigga, like, I said, I made it. I mm. That right there gave me enough motivation just self, I, that, I did that on my own, bro. 
nothing, but nobody heard it. No, it wasn't no like big outward like, oh, you heard the nigga that played the shit on the station. Mm, it yeah. wasn't no viral <laughs> moment or nothing like that. It was just me. That shit meant something to you. It meant something to me. That's what matters. And that gave me enough uh, inspiration and motivation to be like, it got to go to the next level. Mm, yeah. I got to take headbuster to the That's next dope. level, nigga. I'm trying to figure out, though, like, in that pro- during that process, because around the time that they came out, that was a time where, like, headbuster became a, a theme song for football. And, like, anytime you, like, we were playing sports, like, that nah, was you just. Talking about, you talking about once John got hold of it. Gotcha. Know, when when I when it was just me and my niggas running through the club talking about we some head busting and we <laughs> fighting all the time, <laughs> yeah, bro, it was a different it was a different time in Atlanta, bro. Like that, like Atlanta wasn't like what it is. Atlanta right was not like. Were you worried now. that your music was too kind of? Hell no, that was the only music playing. <laughs> she don't know about. He said gangster music. I only, was I only <laughs> listen to gangster shit, and that's the only thing so that went in the club. Like, like, I was still I was still on Tupac. I was still I was still on Tupac. I'm giving a little lesson because we don't triple six mafia. We don't have we didn't really have we didn't have gangs in Atlanta, but we had shit called like Black Mob. TC, yep. fuck yeah, yep. the fam. Yep. Like, and, and, and it was lit. Nigga, I went to high school on the side. I'm a real east side yeah. nigga. Oh, yeah. excuse yeah. me. Put so, that on shirt. They were, they were repping hoods and so shit. Literally, like, 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 zone three. Me, me and the Megaplex that, you know is a real right? thing, nigga. Yeah, yeah Megaplex was everything to me. Once, <laughs> listen, listen. Once I did head busting in the Megaplex, bro, because yeah. we like that was like our regular place to go to. Yeah. Bro, the whole crowd was this right here. Yeah. Head buster, the whole Y'all had this. Listen, Y'all Jermaine Dupree, his video was with Jermaine Dupree talking this. about it. It's Jermaine Dupree was saying, bro, I went in the club, bro, and everybody just started punching their hand with their fists. Like, there were four crime all came out, Trillville. Like, it was just me and all the niggas from the east side, bro. And, and like, because I, I, I was up under them niggas uh, that had the little song, We Hate Pastor Troy. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, nigga, I remember Swat me. Team. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I always, always tell yeah. Troy, man. You know, you, what? What's going on? I love on? you, bro. Like, yo, that was yo, a by, by, the way, by the way, this is at a point in time where if you diss the right nigga, yeah. you're on the map. Yeah, you're on the yeah. map. You oh, that used to right be the way nigga. in back then. Yeah, that was the way we, in. People don't understand Atlanta, bro. Let me tell you something. From 1998. To around 2004, Ooh, he got, he got five, mm. nothing in point. the world yeah. was better than Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Cause you had, cause it was like we was, we didn't even know we was a shit. Yeah, we didn't even was, know we had. Just kind of like we, it was you so was when you did like, your thing. Hey, we didn't even know we oh, had. We got to take the jacket off. Yeah, we didn't give a fuck. We didn't give a fuck about everybody else. Let me tell you, Atlanta is. Let me tell you what Atlanta is. Why I love it so much. I never forget. Birthday bash 98. Not 98. Nigga, birthday, nigga, I'm in the lawn, scrappy. <laughs> nigga, every time, every time, every time, every time, every time, I was broke, nigga, you know, I'm going to stick in that bitch. I'm going to stick in that bitch. That's a Lakewood. Came through the back door. Slick Rick is out performing. Timberland's out performing. Every time somebody come out, all you heard was, we read it. Yeah. We read it. Like, yeah. like, it was to the point where, and like, the crowd. in the middle of sets, mm. I'll never forget Slick Rick was like, they ready? What, 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 like, you tell them, like, they ready? What are we doing? He didn't know yeah. we wanted Troy. Yeah. But this the year that Bastard P was like, Troy can't perform on the stage. Yeah. Or Troy, ah. Troy can't perform. Troy and Goody Ma brought that nigga out. Yeah, man. Goody Ma brought, brought, brought that nigga out, bro. Was like, Goody Ma nigga, brought that motherfucker out and we went crazy. Nigga, it was like motherfucking the room. I lost my motherfucking mind. Nigga, listen. I lost my mother. And I was with niggas that said, we hate Pastor Troy. Right. That's why I'm like, wait, what the fuck is going on here? No, but the thing was like, you ain't, even if we had niggas, niggas in Atlanta, no, you had niggas, niggas from outside Atlanta. Yeah, Florida. niggas what? didn't really hate <laughs> Pastor Troy. Niggas wanted to be round that nigga, bro. Niggas wanted to be round that nigga, bro. That nigga was just so hard. Mm. That nigga Troy was so hard. I hate you because I can't understand be with you. Something. He came and he went against the fucking mighty he army. He went against the mighty he army, says, nigga. Nigga, put P on the phone. Hey! Nigga, and then when he did that was so smart. He said, tell them down south Georgia boys ready for war. Yeah, nigga. nigga. If you was and, from Georgia, you from nigga, Georgia, you nigga. Like, y'all was ready to run. Yeah, you like, nigga, what's up? Who's hey, talking what's to? What's up, nigga? Meet me hey, at hey, hey, look, look, nigga, we played the, listen, listen, we played Pastor Troy record club. I'm talking did. about, I'm talking about, like, we, we went so hard for this nigga, bro. And I'm going to tell you when, when my life changed. With the with the song he like it, cause he inspired the fuck out of me. That's that's why I got hair busted. Yeah, the, the flow from yeah for cause of Troy. Oh wow. Let me tell you, bro. The nigga did that 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 champion oh. with the Goldberg beat. Oh. oh my god. Hey nigga, and I'm a wrestling fan. I'm a wrestling fan. So you nigga, I was like, Monday night I said, nigga, you got me fucked up. Nigga. <laughs> What's up, nigga? I was like, nigga, I'll beat your oh, ass. Nigga, that shit hard. And, and, and that's, a, that's a song where he be like, and it was something about Troy, my nigga. It was that nigga tone. Yeah. Because he always talked like it hurt. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga said, yeah. yeah. We like this nigga. Motherfucker. 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 Motherfuc
<laughs> Sound like a PT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nigga, and then, hey, when that nigga did that shit said, Pastor. What, nigga? Pa. I am the SGB. I was like, what? That's what it. Nigga, I was like, huh. I'm talking about that nigga would do a show. Scrap out your goosebumps, man. That nigga Pastor Troy. Bruh. No nigga had Atlanta. Hey, let me tell you something. He was the pivot. No, let me yeah. tell you something. That's a good one. Nobody will ever, ever, I don't give a fuck if you little baby, uh, Whatever. Everybody. You can get you you gonna get some when you gotta fight with Troy on that stage, bro. When you in Atlanta, you ain't finna have it. You ain't finna have it. Like I'm talking about cousin come out there all the new. It can be a new young nigga concert. It don't matter. Troy come on that bit, he gonna stand on that bit with that belt. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, oh, I gotta go for one of these. Yeah, over. Please, please do all my hits, please. What nigga? Can you do all the hits? We won't give a fuck about like nobody else. Let me tell you, Troy was the first time Atlanta niggas took pride yeah. in Atlanta. Yeah. Because Kilo, we didn't, we loved it, but loved that it. was the first time that he, because it was, it was Atlanta shit. was booty shake music. Yeah. And yeah. then the, when we listened to it street music, it was New Orleans and Memphis and yeah. Texas. Yeah. UGK, Master P, A Ball, yeah. and JG. Yeah. That's what the street music. Yeah. Yeah. We was booty shake. Yeah. The yeah. hardest nigga we had in Atlanta before Troy was Hitman Sammy Sam. Yeah. And he was booty shake, nigga. Yeah. You ain't my dad. No, 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 hold on. Now hold on. Now hold on. Now hold on. We gotta stop there. Go ahead. I wanna just give y'all a little Atlanta history. Let's go. <laughs> go back now. Before Pastor Troy even came in the game was the thing called Who Big Oom. It was yeah. big on record. It was cool count. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, get a big old nigga. And 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 I'm gonna tell you, rest in peace, Lil C. Shout out to Baby D and and uh, all the DJ, the Southern style DJ, DJ Monte, DJ Jelly, and DJ Assault. MC Assault. MC DJ Jelly, MC Assault, nigga. Let me tell you, what? Let me Monte's tell you. my nigga. Monte, let me tell you yeah. about uh uh what was his name? Uh, Loco. Let me tell you something about intoxicated groups like that. What? Like, those motherfuckers had the real street hit. But the only thing is, because Monte them made booty shape beats, they put hardcore music on booty shape beats. Okay. And so that was our crunk. That was our crunk. We'd be in there, be crunk like that. It wouldn't be, a, it would be some dancing going on, because I told you, I used to dance, so I used to yeah. be in that crank. Oh, no, Atlanta was dancing that scene. I used to be cranking that bit like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. But, no, that's but, I want to interview Scrap. But, but it like. That, he was in the center of yeah, it. Yeah, like. Is, this is such a beautiful time. It, it, was like, it was like, nigga, I, I, was, I was on my dancing shit at, at, for one, one moment, and then I got on my rap shit. But we was, I was fighting the whole time. I'm fighting niggas the whole, I'm in the club that's fighting. So on, and nigga, every song, come on, nigga. Bro, the so so dev all star DJ. Come on, yes. bro. Come on, bro. Yo, nigga. The West Sierra got her yeah. song yes, from. Yes, like, yes, come nigga. on, where yes, everybody nigga. get they, they little lit music song from mm -hmm. now. That shit came from So So Dev All Stars and Oont Camp and all that shit. Like, bro, I'ma tell you, like, once Troy came in there, the street felt like we had somebody we was connected to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was like, oh, we in the game. We got somebody now. We in yeah, this shit. Troy yeah. was the first real. Okay. Superhero, like nigga, I remember going. Yeah, to, I remember going to BCR Black College Reunion that year. Ooh. And nigga, if you if you was a Florida nigga, mm. you was playing Trick Daddy. Hey. But if you was an Atlanta nigga, you all you was Troy, playing nigga. was Troy. Help That's me, Troy, Rhonda, nigga. nigga. Hey, what nigga? Come on what? now, <laughs> don't play with no more, man. Don't play with that shit. Don't play with that shit, bro. You can't play with that man like that, bro. Wait, I have a question for y'all. As the Atlanta natives and building and Juju, you could add in since you down here. Anything like your son? What do you miss most? about that's, yeah, old Atlanta. What do you miss most? I can answer that. What do miss most? What do I miss most about old Atlanta? It wasn't this many tourists. I knew that. And what happened you is- You tell who were from Atlanta. Yeah. Like, I missed like, it. I, like, can I just break down some? So let me yeah. tell you something about Atlanta. Atlanta, we are a finesse city. Yeah, yeah. We what are do you gonna, mean? We they gonna, be mad. You know, hear me out. They be mad. We gonna speak to you. But the little nigga also might steal your car. Yeah. <laughs> so you hear about cars getting stolen, it's always in Buckhead, right? Yeah. You wanna know why it's in Buckhead? Because the fluent black people yeah. that moved to Atlanta wanna live in Buckhead. Yeah. So if you an Atlanta nigga, little boy, they looking at you like you a little boy, you don't know. That little nigga is on he that motherfucker and he about to get, get your ass. He can't wait. And he wait for you, he yeah. smile at you and be like, what's up, boy? Hey, he now, boy. Get your I, ass. I see you doing it, and then as soon as you turn your back, that little nigga got your shit and you yeah. go. You like, yeah. he was so nice. Yeah. That's Atlanta. Nah, no, I, miss, I miss Atlanta when like when you had club obsessions and it was like 
the college, like you knew all the college was pulling nice. up, yeah. and it was five dollars for a blue motherfucker. Yeah. And you know, you know yeah. about to be a black man. Let me tell you, let me tell you the best time. You get the picture Atlanta. for twenty cash. Uh-huh. Nigga, let me tell you, and let me tell you the best time in Atlanta where you can just go to the parking lot of five five nine. And just you ain't got shit. no ha- no got money. Go All you gotta do is have a you car go and go to five five nine, yep. and you it was like our miniature freak nick every yep. Friday and every Saturday, Friday mm. Saturday. Mm. nigga. And, and that's you know what they were like that. Pick up you know what they like that. Who? What's five the five bounce. nine? Let me what tell you that? something. When I went to the bounce, bro, as a little nigga, cause, cause like I was just now coming in when the bounce was at its peak. I was just now coming in till I can get in there, nigga. And I, it was right before Fame, too. It was right before I, you know, yeah. the world knew me. Yeah. Bro, like, I had so much fun as a as a, as a a kid, bro. Man, like, Atlanta was so lit, bro. Like, I, like, I'm, like listen, bro, I went in there, <laughs> and that? when the club go crazy, our shit used to wave. Yep. It, it wasn't like, motherfuckers come out, they bitch sweaty. Like, nigga, you coming out the club, like, yes, bro, you, you nigga, dancing. I had the time of my you life dancing. tonight. Nigga, like, yeah. you're dancing. And, and you be like, like yo, like, like, like. And the thing about us is that we can give you that booty shake shit for the girls to yep, shake your ass. So yep. you gonna hit some Luke, some Kilo, the girls gonna be dancing, nigga. and then they gonna get on their street shit, yep. and you gonna do your little dance on the street shit. Even yep. on the street shit, you gonna do your dances. Nigga, I done been in the club with laying down is on, and bro, the niggas gonna be like, niggas in that bit like this. Lay it down, lay it down. You hold that. Nigga like this. And my line, nigga like this. Nigga roll the blunt like this. Nigga like, nigga, nigga, bro. You like, hey, hey bro, what's up? What's you know, are you rolling like, and then kissing your money? That's why it's funny. Like, even when I, when I keep bringing the black mind thing, you got to think Quiz and all them came from that, too. Yeah. So they were, they went from, like, the black mind talking wild to going to transport it, uh booty shaking, straight booty yeah. shaking shit. And he's like, oh, these, these are the same niggas that just had Stonecrest get kicked out, <laughs> stop yes. a nigga out. Yes. No, and that's what, that's what you can get, nigga. They still get niggas to this day. When they come down here, they see a nigga dancing. And they oh, like, that nigga beat your ass. That nigga. Mm. that nigga is either going to whoop, he got hands on him, he got yep. paws on him, or he got a gun on him. He going to shoot the shit out you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I used to be in there, I used to be like, bro, like, my, I used to have Jim and nigga come down yep. here with me because I used to be fucking yeah, Jim. Yep. And they be like, man, what's up with that nigga? I'm like, nah, bro, like, cuz, like. <laughs> he thought off. Yeah, yeah cuz <laughs> thought <laughs> off. Like, that like, that's why he in the middle of the flow in the hood by himself dancing. Nigga, let me tell you something. Ain't nobody I, around here, man. Ain't no crowd in there. Like, I saw a nigga. Shoot the shit out I saw hand. a nigga dance against a nigga, do one of the moves, one of the moves. Like it was like the get out with nigga did yeah. a move. Then, then, then the, the second time niggas like, and the nigga hit the nigga. It was like, you gonna get fucked up in the left. Yeah. Oh no, no, nigga. no, nigga, they do it all the time. All yeah. the homies, they come down here, they be like, oh, I was over on on uh P Street, then I went to Cleveland Avenue. I was like, how did you get from P Street to Cleveland Avenue? <laughs> <laughs> like what 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 where were you going? <laughs> Bro, I was nigga, I had went to goddamn, I was on goddamn, I went to Bankhead Club, cause I went, I wanted to I said, bro, why would you go to bank here? And then, and then, and right, so, that's your first, you did wrong right there. Tell me why you went over there. Why you go over there and tell them why you was going over there? Dude? Yeah, like, what's going on? Mm. But they think it's sweet. They be yeah. looking at Atlanta like, oh, like, it's I'm, uh, yeah, it's a yeah. tourist attraction. I'm like, bro, you make the one, the, the fucked up wrong left or right turn, nigga. You and are you, in you are not go in the body. You, 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 nigga, you leave, you know and you leave Morehouse. And you go to the block. In the street, go down half a block. Oh, yeah, man. I hate it for the college kids. The, West the, the college nigga, kids, I hate it for them. Because they, they come down here, they think the college is safe. Oh, and no, I, no, no, I'm no, no, like, no, bro, you have only your people, your people parents. Only people say the Morehouse is still because they behind the gate. Yeah. Look, I did like this. Nigga, Morris Brown, you can just go. I thought I went there, nigga. I did like that. I said, I said, hey. You I, have, know, I, I don't know what your mom and daddy thought, but exactly. they put you directly smack dead in the hood. Exactly. You know I mean? You're on MLK, yes. sir. Like, you, let me tell you something. When you get the good girls, you went to the village. This was Georgia State oh, Village. Yeah. That's where you get the good girls. Because once you get behind that gate, nigga, it's on. It was going there and crack something. It was a crack something. It was a girl in the village. This motherfucker changed my life. Because, you know, nigga, I'm from Atlanta, so I got a car. I'm just hanging out in the, like, this sounds so lame, by the way, when I think about it as a band, but <laughs> as a young nigga, you got behind that gate, you, nigga, you was on, because if you met a chick, she had a room mm. upstairs. You oh, could, yeah, yeah. You could smash immediately, yeah, so you, you connect with somebody, like, where your doorm at? Where your doorm at? Man, I live on campus. Let's go to your door. Oh. Oh. You had the lingo, though. Oh. You had nigga, the lingo. Listen, I caught this girl, nigga, I swear to God, I fucked with this chick the next day. She saw me doing the same thing on another oh. page. Nigga scrap. Copy paste. This motherfucking girl changed my life. This bitch walked up to me and she said, yeah, you got some pussy, nigga. But I'm going to get a college degree and I'm going to be somebody. Oh. And your lame ass is hanging out on campus fucking girls. You ain't going to be shit. She and I remember I was like, she's so right. We got to do something different. One thing about Atlanta niggas, 
Don't, don't make him feel lame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, nigga. Man, nigga, get this shit together. You make a nigga feel lame? Man, get this shit together. Oh, nigga, nigga, I walked into a party the other day. The girl walked up to me like, what you doing here? I'm like, my man invited me. What's going on? This family homecoming. Why you here? Ooh. Oh, this family homecoming. Oh, man, I hit my nigga like, man, I give a fuck about it. Why the fuck am I a family homecoming? Yeah. Nigga, <laughs> that's fuck you, family like, oh, in the homecoming. Though. You with me, nigga. That bro just walked up to me and yeah. asked me, I'm not family homecoming. <laughs> that shit feel lame to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not this motherfucker. Like, like, why are we here? Yeah, okay. So, 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 hold on. I got a question. I got a question. <laughs> so, the, the chick that told you that. Did you ever catch back up with her? Like, nah, but like, I've been looking for her. She, she, she <laughs> see you. She, she watching. Wait, I want to thank her. She watching. I want to thank her. She's somewhere. But hold on, I got to tell Scrappy she, something. Yeah, I don't is. know if he knows. I'm going to pivot a little bit. Okay. I don't know if you noticed, but you guys have all heard me tell a story about when I was broke, right? And I was, Scrappy don't know, I lived with Stephanie and Bam. I was in a relationship with Stephanie, nigga. What, who was that? Sugar. Remember her best friend? I'm waiting for oh, it to yeah. resonate. No, no, it was her, it, no, they're not friends no more. Okay, but, but he, that was Bambi, that was her best friend. Shug. Her name was Stephanie. Oh, I'm not But that was her best friend. Oh, Steph. Steph. Oh. Yeah. That's why I say he, 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 Steph. Steph. he got it now. So me and Steph was together yeah. when I was coming up. So I've been knowing Bam since I was a broke nigga. <laughs> nigga, that's how me and Steph met, nigga. We was kicking it. <laughs> this is some real Atlanta shit. We kicking it. And my uncle told me I gotta get out of his house because he was like, you can't chase your dream and live here, nigga. So, so I'm talking to her. I go to Clark, and she was like, I'm getting kicked out the dorm. And I'm like, where you going? I don't know. My mom going to give me money for an apartment. Who? I ain't got Steph. Uh. So I'm like, I got a bed. And she's like, you got a bed? You want to stay with me? I was like, hell, that's how I live with them, because I had a bed. And when was this? This what? is this is the whole thing. Nigga said I'll trade you nigga, a room for a bed. When I tell y'all the story, this, when, this is this is, I when, never this heard is this. when this is when somebody supposedly was in college. You no, know no, no. Man? This is the whole 2004. But let me tell you another thing. We messing never up timelines. No, no, no. Never listen, even been no, listen. listen. College. When I told y'all the story about D Dot giving me my check, you feel me? Nigga, when I told you the story about D Dot giving me my check, nigga, the check, I opened the check with me and Stephanie. Nigga, we was broke as fuck. Nigga, I was broke living with her. My first check that he sent me was 5,000 cash. i never forget. We opened up, looked at each other, and I was like, we fucking little bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's not sad. We bull tonight. Why do we do that? We bull tonight. Why do we do that? Why? Like, why do we do that? Why are we do that? Why do 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 we do that? You just hear your theme I'm music playing in the back. All the all the plans, all the smart shit you have in your head. Hey, go out there, you, you, be go. Like, you be like, then you look at you look, you look up, you be like, yo, yo. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I know what I said I was gonna do. I, but hold on. Uh, it was this outfit. <laughs> did you say you wanted to do I would never, I would never, I said, I said I would never buy this what? shit, right? Man, nigga, I went and bought that bitch. You feel me? Hey, baby, what you want? What you, what you, you want? Give me some of Yeah, give me, yeah, yeah, give me that. We rich. Live. Live. Like, like, and then this shit be gone. Bruh. So I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't know if you knew that. She didn't want to. So when I stayed there, so when we stayed there, she stayed there, and then we would always argue because you know, bam, we wasn't close like that. Yeah. She would kind of be like, Steph, why you got this bum ass nigga living in your house? Like, she was that friend. And I would be like, I'm gonna be something. I'm gonna be somebody. I'm gonna, you, you watch. Yeah, that, that's cool. Cause she said that even in marriage. She called me that. You know what I mean? You feel me? Even in marriage, she called me that. You know what I mean? So, I, I, I gotta ask you a question. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you this because I feel like you're a real nigga. Yeah. And, and I feel like we could talk Atlanta all day. But all I day. just have to ask you this. Yeah. Do you, do you think that doing love and hip hop sacrificed the soul of your relationship. No. Not the relationship. I believe the relationship uh, was what it was because of the people that was in it. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, everybody, everybody, uh, they tell you who they are. Like, even with me, like, I like to, if I'm with a girl or something, I like to just put it all on the table, mm -hmm. no matter if I know or not, just so mm -hmm. she can know. You can't play with scrap. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like I, I am who I am. I'm not Jeezy. I'm not Ti. I'm not Gucci Man. I'm not none of these nigga that you ever heard of. I'm totally different. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, I'm the, I'm the, I'm, 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 I'm like the famous normal nigga. Mm. You feel that's what, what I love about you because that's, that's my favorite thing about him. Like he, like even how we sit here talking, he acting like he didn't contribute 
to the culture. He acting like he didn't drop head busting like how niggas going crazy. <laughs> but that's Atlanta though. Like it's like you just happy to be yeah, a part like, of this not, shit, bro. Not, not even that, bro. I'm a godly nigga. Like 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 I, I really feel like all this stuff is like an opportunity and a gift that God gave me. So I ain't really like standing nowhere by the light. I'm that nigga. Like I feel like God that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. He put Dude, me in position. Dope. He put me in position. I know church folk gonna be like, oh, he called nah, me a nigga. Nah. But like, like I'm, I'm I'm tapped in with God like that. You know what I'm saying? So I I feel no, like, I and if don't nobody know or even focus your eyes on my life, like you have you you have seen what you call a favorite man. Mm. Like you can just watch all my history and see what I've been through, see what I go through. And you be like, God got favor of cuz, the cuz will be gone. You yeah, know what I'm saying? He will yeah. be about here. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm looking at all the people that I came in the game with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of people that came in before me and after me and with me, and they don't have the same. They don't look the same, like, by the way. You yeah, can tell they don't that. Like, look you, the same. you you you, you age. Well, they don't move Go the same. He got a whole hairline up there. Yeah. Go like, hairline and working. And, 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 and you know you know how old I'm. How, how old I am, bro? Mm-hmm. How old are you? I'm gonna be forty Friday. Oh, look at that hairline. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's a blessing. A blessing. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, and I, and I don't hide that shit or nothing. Cause like God really blessed me to, to like, yo, to make it this. Yeah, I, I see niggas, bro. I see niggas yes. dead. Nigga, this niggas dead right now, bro. Right, like yeah. niggas I don't with. I'm riding with. We rocking. We doing dumb shit with. Yeah. I done did super dumb shit, bro. Like, and God just got me here right now, just living. I'm like, yo, I'm here. Like, and I want to tell you bro, something. And you know why you blessed? Cause you acknowledge it. Mm. Some niggas act like they lucky. Oh, yeah. And then they think that they're playing with luck, and they're like, I'm lucky. Like, I, yeah. I, you just took me to a place. I remember I, I was selling weed. I got robbed. And it was traumatic for me. Oh, yeah. And I remember Them days the, ne- are the next day, <laughs> the next day, two dudes that I was selling weed with got murdered. Because they got robbed. And you thought you was in the and I and, and, and my, no, But that was. And I was like, and I, I felt like God was like, you hear me, nigga? Yeah. Are you now, paying attention? No, go do music. Mm-hmm. And that's why I knew I was going to make it. Yeah. Yeah. You see what God do? That's God, my point. Like, 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 it's you favor because God sacrificed two other motherfuckers to, to show teach you. you a lesson. Yeah. You feel what Make sure you they, and by the way, they was, they was, they was good, like Morehouse kids that got, yeah, they was just exactly. selling weed. Exactly. Like, I was selling out of desperation, but exactly. they was selling it because it was kind of like that. And I watched it, and they got murdered in, a, in an abandoned house. And I, and I mean, like, Good dudes, bro. Yeah. And, I, and I'm always thinking, like, I'm like, I'm lucky to be here. Don't ever take advantage. But you know what it is, though? It's, it's, that, it's that street shit that my mama put in me right and it's that god shit that my daddy put in me because my daddy a preacher and my my mama a hustler you know yeah what I'm complete opposite and and it's like when i'm over at daddy house you know what i'm saying he he is installing like we in god mode mm. you know what i'm saying like you you're not you're not coming up by the cuz i like cuz don't tell stories or he don't give you uh lessons without the bible like he's I love that. straight yeah. from the bible like mm. you know what i'm saying this this is this right here, and you go home to your mama, and your mama is on some hood. She like, hey, hey, baby, look, look, look. You see how you see how cut acting right now? Mm-hmm. Nah, fuck that. You don't never let a nigga do you like that. You don't mm-hmm. never. Hey, you see a nigga moving funny, like you you, you watch niggas. Like like, mama, my, my mama always told me that everybody in the world against me, mm-hmm. straight up. Everybody mm-hmm. in the world against you. Mm-hmm. So look at it like that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's how I always looked at it. Like everybody against me. It's so crazy because your mom is the G. And your dad is the God fair man, and it's usually the opposite. Right. Yeah. Usually, daddy did so. I'm asking, yeah. So how did that, that relationship mean. come together? Because with my your... daddy was in the street. Oh, okay, so he got, and, okay. And you know he what figured my daddy it out. Told me. He, tell said, me. he said, you know what got me in, in in the church? And I said, nah, like tell me. I'm I'm very intrigued. Yeah. I'm really I would love to know. <laughs> that would be intriguing. Share it with me. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I come to you and I be want some life lessons, and you go to the Bible. Like, you know yeah. All the time. Can I just get daddy shit? Like, because yeah. Cud told me no. Mm. He said, I'm going to always give you the Bible because that's what I stand on. Mm. But he said, the person that put me in the church was your mama. And he said, I don't know if she was trying to put me in church to calm me down for her. But he said, once I got in there, I was hooked on God. And that mm. was it. Mm. Wait, how'd she get out of church, though? Huh? So she started in church and then got out of it? No, no, or? no. no. My, you know, my mama's the regular girl. She, she, uh... She had, she had, like, her mom and daddy was, like, well, her mama was a school teacher. My grandma was a school teacher. Okay. And mm. my, my granddaddy, he was, he retired from the army. Okay. So she had Traditional. Good, she had good, real good shit, right? But her daddy wasn't her real daddy. Mm-hmm. Mm. And her real daddy didn't fuck with her like that. Mm-hmm. So she had a, 
a little chip, a little kinda. chip on yeah. the shoulder. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it, when it comes to and I, when I when I say like the granddad I know that raised me and the grandma I know raised me, like they solid. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They got good job. They had good jobs and stuff. They was they was legit, but they solid. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I never heard them curse or say anything crazy until I got of age. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I start seeing beer in the refrigerator. Like when the grandkids don't come over, <laughs> don't know, I'm like, hey, y'all drink beer? Y'all <laughs> like, human? Y'all cursing shit? Like, what, what's going on? You ain't have a clue. Yeah, I ain't have a clue. That's, That's how good. solid, That's That's how how solid they was. Like, but I, you know, I could tell, though, I could tell that you are a grounded, solid individual. That's what I think people love about you. Like, you, like I ain't seen Scrappy. I mean, I've seen Scrappy mature. But I've seen Scrappy still be the same man. Yeah. Like, I, I always no, see the like man. It's, 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 and, and I appreciate that. It's, it's, it's like, really, like I tell, I always tell people, like, like I don't hide from my, 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 my raising. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I got this gutter. I got the super gutter. Because I'm from, I'm from fucking zone three, nigga. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, yeah. I heard sirens all night, nigga. Yeah. Like, I heard helicopters. I seen them. I seen my, my older homies get shot up in front of me, like, at the three-way corner store, like, and we had to go call the police, not call the police, call the ambulance. Police came, but you know what I'm saying? These niggas, like, niggas I, I watched every day when I, like, they was in, they were playing kitty football before me. And then I was playing kitty football and I'm watching them sell drugs now. Like, they done got older and then, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, I seen them get shot up. My niggas yeah. seen holes in niggas. Like, like, I seen this shit. My nigga, like. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, is that you still remained solid like scraps since you came out you never tried to be nothing you was yeah no nah. that's what i thought like like i was thinking like when you was on bang yeah and i was like that to me that was another one of those like okay they putting him in they putting him in it's like he on the record with the two kings of the south yeah, basically yeah, with the snowman and yeah, tip yeah, yeah. and that was their first time doing something right, on a big level and they put you on it yeah. so you always and been there but you jeezy because it felt I, I felt like jeezy knew what he was doing at the time he knew that i was the young crunk nigga and T.I. was the dope boy, the big dope boy nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and that's who you fuck with. You fuck with the niggas, the young nigga that, that, that's causing all the ruckus. And they got everybody yep. pitching. And you got the dope boy right there. And nigga, that's a classic and, and that's nigga. Shit. You, bro. Let me tell you, bro, like, I never be scared to fuck with none of this shit, bro. Yeah. I know God got me. You that's know dope. I can like, tell, by the way. Like, like when when I'm I'm around all these niggas, these niggas, I swear to God, all these niggas got super egos, bro. Mm -hmm. They got super egos. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about to the point to where at first I was like, hold on, I'm different. <laughs> I don't. I'm not the same. I'm not the same as these niggas. Like, yeah. Like, cause I don't care what they say about me on social yeah, media. You me neither. Know what I'm saying? I know I who care. I am. I don't like. For, and then for a minute, I'm, I'm gonna take y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take y'all to a place where I was just at. And I don't know if anybody seen me. I know Ray seen me, but I don't know if you looked at me or y'all paid attention. Like when I was married, cause like I was very little myself. I was definitely not who I am. Okay, so you, 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 so you saying that you dim your light I dim for your my marriage light for my marriage, and I didn't even know I was dimming it. I just was doing what was what was was right. Felt causing right. a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like me being me would, would cause a problem. Like just normal me, just being normal me would always cause a problem. And I'm like, and it did it before I got married. Like, but I just didn't understand that. Shit. I didn't. I didn't I didn't put it together. I was just like, I'm a bad nigga. Like, I, 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 I was just a bad nigga. I, mean, you know I mean? Like, I do be, I do be doing dumb shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? But I noticed that I only do dumb shit when I'm not fucking with the motherfucker. Mm. And if you're not married, then Start all's up for shit. grabs. You know what I'm saying? You can't nobody blame you for fucking off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, how my auntie put it to me. You either married or you're not. <laughs> you either married or you're single. That's, you feel what I'm saying? That's you it. You don't play the girlfriend boyfriend shit. Like, like if we girlfriend boyfriend, expect for me to dip into something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Expect for me to fuck on something else. Cause, yep. cause guess what? <laughs> I ain't putting no ring on your finger, and you know that. 
So I know women are way more better cheaters than men. Mm. You feel me? Yes, because y'all get too involved. Hold on. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. No, no, I'm glad you said I, I was over here. I was being quiet, but I was just like this. I am trying. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. I am trying over here. I'm glad, no, I'm glad you said that because, because Pete Gang, right? A man was sitting in a marriage, and I'm, I'm going to speak on just me. Please speak. I love I'm this speak conversation. Just me. What's a man, I'm, I, I said in a marriage, right, where I thought the woman was perfect. Because the woman had told me I was the worst nigga the whole time. Like mm. I never said I was. I was. Oh, you, you, you doing great. You, I, man, you. Uh, she would get on. She would get on a camera, and say the shit, but tell me something totally opposite. Why would you marry somebody that didn't hold look on, at you? Hold on, hold on. Let's get it out. We're just... gonna get to that. Let's, Let's go, bro. Let's... We're gonna get to that. So my whole thing be like this. Like I'm me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I already told you who I was when you first met me. I already told you the problems that I had. I already told you that I'm not super wealthy and rich. I, I'm working on that. You put all the I'm cards getting, on the I table. I always do it. You know why? 100%. Because 100%. I even tell them about the old bitch that I'm, I'm fucking with. Okay. I tell them I tell her everything. Same you know what that motherfucker did? Sat there and listened. That motherfucker sat there and listened. And waited. And what I could, uh, what I, what I could acknowledge right now is just saying that I was wrong. Mm. You know what made me wrong? Because I told this person everything they needed to know about me without them having to work for it. Mm. Without mm. them having mm. to fight for it. Without them having to search for it, to do research Shit. or, or come, come in and And they can't and wait to out. use it. Yeah. That's the game. Can't, can't, you know, they, like, the shit that I had to do, the shit that I, I had to search, I had to find out about this person, I had to learn this person, right. I had to, I came in within the, a fucking month or two and told this person everything about me, showed them, opened the doors up, like, oh, this is my whole life right here. This is who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to hide nothing from you. You know what I'm saying? Because I kind of fuck with you like that. But at the same time, I was in a vulnerable position. That's right. Because I was just coming out of rehab. Yeah. I was just, I was going through jail shit. Mm -hmm. I was just... Stop mm-hmm. fucking with my baby mama, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and before my baby mama, I was just stop fucking with diamonds. So I'm going, I'm not even right. I'm on drugs and shit. I'm on yeah. pills. Like, I'm not even right. And the person knows this, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. The person knows this. This is the real shit. This is the real part. The person knows all this shit because I'm telling them and they're seeing it. Mm. Plus, they're seeing me on Love and Hip Hop already making a name. I'm already who I am. Yep. He's scrappy. Yep. But he's go- he's on Love and Hip Hop. He's going up. And what are you? A storyline. I am a friend of a person on basketball wise. Mm. That's what I am. A storyline. That's 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 what that's the what that's what the person was at the time. Yeah. But I didn't even look at it like that. I looked at it as a solid person. I looked at it like shit. You just finding your way. Shit, we all find our way. We all got to play the back seat at some point. Mm. But when when I tell you that and you don't acknowledge that, and w- once we together, you don't acknowledge that, and you be like, nah, I always been, how? How you always been lit? Because I remember you being like- a extra. A extra, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember, like, you say you, you doing movies, but I don't Maybe. see no, I don't see no starting roles. Mm. Cause in my movie, I play the starting role. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Through my eyes, this is the this is the screen. This is the, my my eyes is the screen. And if I even sat in the theater, if I sat in the theater, I could see past the the theater screen, because my eyes is the fucking movie. Yeah, I am the movie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I ain't know none of this shit right then, bro. I was giving it up. I was I was really like giving it up to her. Like, hey. You that motherfucker. I'm, I'm going to tell you why this happens. And, and, and you know what it reminds me of? I'm screwing my Go ahead, no, go ahead, bro. I'm going to tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the Pharaoh that gave his shit to Nefertiti. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because God gave, it was the wise king in the world. Cause, yep. And he gave it, God gave him that, and he gave it up to her. And he lost everything. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I just happened to be the dude that said, I ain't gonna lose everything fucking with you. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna fall down, I'm gonna fall up. If I mm. fall anywhere, it's gonna be up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I see, I see once certain shit happen, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I went through. I went through narcissistic abuse, right? 
Mm. And this is well, this is well known in the black community because women are so large. They're so big. You know what I'm saying? We we put them up so high. Shit, they put themselves up so high. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To where we can't touch them. You know what I'm saying? And, and you look at it and you be like, hey, what's going on right now? To where a man with a dick can't talk. Mm. Where I'm even overshadowed by gay people. Yeah. Like I can't even be a man and say, I'm a man. Exactly. Y'all get offended because I say I'm a man. Mm. Y'all, y'all say I'm homophobic because I said I'm a, I'm a man. Like I, <laughs> my daddy said he was a man. Nobody gave a fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But when I say I'm a man, offensive. everybody give a fuck. It's offensive. Yeah. How is it offensive when a woman can say she's a woman? How is it offensive when a transgender can say I'm a transgender? I identify as a transgender. Sometimes the worst thing you can be is a man. Oh no, the worst thing you could ever be is a man. Right. Mm. You, know, you know, you know, you know why? And I'm gonna put it in there because I want to get somewhere. The reason the worst thing to be is a man, you feel me, is because you stand for everything that God made and didn't have to make again. This is this is like the Quran, my nigga. Nobody redid this shit. Nobody recreated a man. You can't recreate a man. You can't. Re you can. Re you can recreate a woman. You can make, see, men make themselves a woman, but a woman can't make herself a man. Like, a, a woman can't surgically put a dick on herself. Like, you know I man? like to argue with y'all, but mm. that oh, one I got to No, 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 I'm talking about with the whole feeling and everything. I'm talking about with the natural shit. You can't, you not I can build feel. a pole. No, no, listen, listen. When so I ask my homegirl, when I ask my homegirl that, 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 that pussy bump with bitches. Uh huh. She gets. She okay, get all, I pussy bump too. Come get, on, let's go. Get all about we pussy bumping, yeah. but guess what? What? You're not doing what I do. You can never do what I do. You can go get the little, the little the dick. Strappy. You can go get the strap on, but guess what? Go get the strap. The bitch ain't gonna never feel like that. That warmth. That 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 shit. That them veins. <laughs> them, 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 let's get a little that, descriptive now. That that that, 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 that shit. That, that shit that make your shit do like this. Yeah, that, the little. No, the chemical. <laughs> okay. The chemical that make your shit do like this. Look at the minerals, man. Look at the minerals. Yeah. Everybody's like, everybody like that's it. Right that's there. Shit. Listen. 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 The hormones being released. No, no. Listen. I ain't gonna even lie to you, bro. I ain't even tired of it, bro. Mm. I ain't even mad at everybody, bro. Mm. Mm. What I'm mad at. It's the niggas that stand on their side with them, that get on their side and be like, oh, uh, uh, the men, y'all just, y'all need to do this, y'all need to do that. Man, fuck you, bro. We'll see the president. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you not living a real man life, bro. You trying to get some kudos, my yeah, nigga. You yeah. trying to get some points. You'll pick me, nigga. I got As orders, the mayor would say, you'll pick me, orders. nigga. But guess what else I got? I got a son. Fast. And I be damn, I let my son fall wayside for that shit. No, nah, mm. cuz, like, you gonna be a man. You know what I'm saying? When, like, like, yeah, I, I'm talking to you heavy, son. Yeah, yeah I'm talking to you with, I'm, I'm disrespecting you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You need to be a man. But as that's what these women do. They disrespect us every time, every chance they get. It's, it's a, you look on the post, it's a whole bunch of black women disrespecting black men and then want a black man. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is, where you, hold on, listen. <laughs> what? And I hope y'all don't have sons. I hope y'all don't have sons out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell everybody, I say I'm going to stand for the black woman because I got black daughters. And I'm going to stand for the black man because I got a, a black son. And I'm a black man. And I'm not going to ever sit there and be like, oh, black men need to do this for the black women. And no, nah, y'all need to come together and find a fucking way because right now y'all look stupid. Amen. Y'all look crazy. Like a motherfucker sitting on that side. Why are we sitting on opposite sides? Why are we sitting on opposite sides when you need the dick and I need the pussy? <laughs> Not vulgar. Why are we sitting on opposite sides when all the black men gone, who's going to stand up for you? Who's going to fight for you? When all the black women are gone, who's going to stand up for the black man? We're in the same boat, whether y'all like to rock it or not. You feel me? Whether y'all like, rocking it or not. Hey, man, whether we rock this shit or not, my nigga, y'all need them black niggas. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need do. this black King Kong dick. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and we need that black Punae. You okay. feel me? And, 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 and his, Wait, and as want, a public figure. I, I got to say okay. something. It's, it's very important, important that, because I want to, it's something he said. The problem with relationships between men and women is so simple. Men auditioned, women don't. Okay. 
Mm. All right, so, let's go into that. So, so hit me out. So when you meet a woman, yeah. you're trying to get to know everything about her. You want to know what, but here's the thing. She never asked you about you. At all. So it comes up. That's why, dog. Tamir, listen. I was going to get Tamir, hit me out real quick. It's always called happy wife, happy life. Yeah. We've never heard of, heard of grumpy old women. Uh. We've only heard about grumpy old men. Uh. Why do grumpy old men be grumpy? Uh. Because, hit me out Tamir, they're grumpy because Ooh. they have... Yeah, they have. Sir, I love you. Thank you. Come on, Juju. Let me finish. I hear you. I hear you. I got you. I'm not even finished. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. Let me finish. I'm saying they're grumpy. Because they played by the rules that women told them to play by, yeah, yeah. and then they realized there was nothing in it for them exactly. besides her happiness. You know what Kurt and Mendez tell me? Tell me. They tell me to like, well, Mendez, his, his shit done changed now. Yeah. Mendez be like, man, fuck that shit, man. Just, <laughs> get your peace, man. Get your yeah. Peace. Kurt, Kurt will be like, and I love Kurt, that's my big brother. I love Kurt Frost. That's my thing. But Kurt will be like, Man, you know, like, this is just how they be, man. Like, you know, women just, <laughs> you know, and I be like, nah, no, what? I'm not going for that. that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going for the shit. I, I was born in the 80s, nigga. I, I, I don't give a fuck about what they be on, nigga. I know what the fuck I be on. I be on, nigga, we should get together. We should come together and come up with a, a solution, peace. a peaceful solution with a man and woman. Motherfucker, if I marry you, my nigga, if I marry you, then that mean I ain't fucking with nothing else. That mean I'm, I really want to fuck with you cuz, and like, I done gave up everything, my nigga. Like, I done gave up all my love, what I like to do every day. You know what I'm saying? I like to go fuck off. I like to go on dates with women every day. I like to go eat with them. I like to learn new <laughs> women. I like to fuck new women, you know what yep. I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't like- sacrifice so much. I sacrificed so much for marriage. Oh my God. Oh, right. no, listen. I gave up fucking with the No, 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 no. You know, oh, what, you, know, you know what we sacrifice for marriage? Peace. That's what we sacrifice for oh. marriage. If y'all actually put me in your room, you ain't being peace. I have no practice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, there are two men. There are two men that are not clapping. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You know why? Yeah, this is why I feel like, I feel like you, I feel like, I feel like this is Jock Tag Team Partner. Listen, I feel like this is my cousin Jock Tag Team Partner. Listen, this is why I say this shit. And then you can say, I, I respect your, your shit. I respect both of y'all. But I'm going to tell you, it, it's like, I, I done sat there, cuz, and I be watching, I even watch my mama, cuz, I be sitting there, I'm like, why are you talking to Ernest like that, cuz, oh, like, wow. like, you got, like, fucked up, cuz. Like, I can't you got, imagine you got, that combo. Huh? She probably yoke him up. Mm. Oh, no, nah, listen, cuz try to take him out. She See? try to take him out. <laughs> and I be, I be sitting over there like this. She come tell me, I be like, cuz, I pray for cuz. Like, he probably be asking for help. <laughs> oh, oh, no, listen, listen, I seen cuz, I seen cuz go through it all. I seen him at his worst. When he was on my mama heavy, like like dogging out and shit, but then I seen him as grown man, and he's like, man, I'm just, I'm just trying to give her what she needs, bro. Like she, you know, like I, I, mm. I, I come home and she cussed me out, bro. Like I, I ain't even did nothing, bro. I just, I came home and look, I came five minutes late. I was in traffic. Like I don't know what the fuck. So hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. So, so I'm, I'm not married. married. I was engaged okay. at one point. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so. I, 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 I agree with, with some of the things that were said. However, yeah. there are parts of it where you say oh, women don't want to learn you. Yeah. I feel like women do want to learn you. I think we don't give them a chance to, like, A, hold on, hold on, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. <laughs> but Juju's at me we, we always get to a place, we always get to a place now where, and women, and this is where, it's two different sides of it, right? Women are trying to change who you are, right? And you can't change who somebody is. When somebody show you who the real, who they are, that's who they are. Now you can help build onto that person and help like make that a better person, but you can't change that person. However, women do want to get the learners. I think we don't understand how to communicate. And I, like my issue was, I didn't understand how to communicate. Well, I didn't understand how to love properly, right? In those situations, right? Where, yeah, I take accountability. I don't give a damn. But so in that process of taking, uh, take, in the process of taking accountability, we, I got to a place where I had to realize, like, yo, like sometimes you can't, you can't mix salt and water. Eventually, it's gonna be like they just don't mix. Exactly. I'm lost, Juju. I'm like that's sea water. I feel like you try to take the women's side. No, it's no, it's working. It's working. We haven't seen Juju. We haven't seen Juju. The reality is the reality is the reality is Wait, wait, cause you're at no the the pick me. Nah. Oh, so so that not gonna. Oh, 
Because it doesn't align with y'all <laughs> man. So, so it's, it's a lot of laughing, but the reality is like, bro, I date very high caliber women. So like, the, women I'm, the women I'm talking to, like, my, 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 I, my I'm stimulated intellectually by women. So like, in, in having conversations, like, I understand how to communicate properly in a place where we talk about like women are dead ass. Women. I was sitting having conversations the other day. They were like, "Yo, I feel like women be tricking on you." I'm like, no, they're not tricking. I just talk to women that that literally like we don't think about the the things that the average person thinks is, is complaining about. Like, oh, how much this costs, or like what is like we're thinking about like. We're talking, talking about, about like, oh, we want to go experience this culture to do this. Yeah. We're, we're thinking about, about worldly things. things. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not in that space of like trying to like the feelings and emotions and that shit. Like we like that's a that's, that's not even a date. That's that's we go on dates. We're trying to figure out like I'm trying to learn you. Like I'm trying to learn how competitive you are. You learn how competitive I am. You're learning like things that like. I'm not asking you what your favorite color is because I, I picked up on the context clues of seeing, oh, you didn't have green tones in your nails the last four times I've seen you. So, like, that's what, so that's what I say when it comes to communication. Women, like, we always, like, as niggas, we always complicate this shit. And I found myself doing that shit. What? Bro, I found myself doing that shit so much. I'm going to tell you what complicates it. What the fuck? I'm going to tell you what complicates it. I'm just being real. No, no, no. I got to keep it a stack. No, no, no. You being honest, though. I got to keep it a stack. No, no, no. no. He being honest. Like, I, I found myself having a complicated time right and i thought i made it complicated but you know what really made it complicated the complication come in when see this is good this is very sick no no this is good it's good you know what he's saying what he's saying is he's the other type of man mm -hmm. he's, he's the types. other type of man mm -hmm. because it's different type of men uh, oh shit! No, no, listen, I'm a girl dad. dad. Listen, I'm a girl dad too, so it's like I'm a girl dad, so I I, I get soft sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It makes me soft. But what makes me, what brings me back is is the fact that men are not complicated at all. all. Oh no, we're not complicated at all. You just said we're complicated. No, listen, no, 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 we good. Listen, this, this is, this, and this is what I want to tell. This is what I want to tell our young lady right here. Hold on, I, hold on. Tell me. Before we get into before we get into real quick. Go ahead. Before we get in, before we get deep into our manly conversation, I want to tell this young lady right here that is really no way that a pussy bumper can have this conversation with a dick. With a dick. Hold on, I take both though. No, 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 you feel what I'm saying? I don't have a girlfriend, but I just got a homegirl that's gay. Like, you know? Yeah. And so, Pete Gang, there's nothing a woman that take just dick got in common with a woman that take both. I did I'm that for you. years. No, no, listen, listen. I'm talking about <laughs> No, this is coming from a woman. This is coming from a woman, not me. I didn't make these rules. So, hold on, say it one more time so we can make sure we understand it. A woman, listen, a woman that takes straight dick and a woman that take both are two different people. Mm -hmm. Okay. They, they look at per, they perspective of two different ways now, like, like that. two different different perspectives. Like like she no listen, a woman that just take dick. The woman that I'm talking, the women that I'm talking about, they're they're, they're the women that try to stand up on men, and, and try to look down mm -hmm. on men and be like, hey yeah yeah, it's like so, y'all yeah, like we yeah yeah women are winning and and women like someone come up on TV and off top she gonna go for the woman. And you be like, yo, just listen to both sides, because you know what I'm saying? I, I heard it. I didn't jump on the man's side. I just, I want to listen, you know what I'm saying? Just break it all down, and then we're going to, and a woman like, no, like, you got me fucked up. Like, you see what the fuck? Are you really agreeing with this shit? Mm. If you be you like, you, you want to go automatically go for the black fucking family. If you're watching something, just move. No, 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 we're not talking about black family. We're talking about man and woman. I'm just saying, it's just see what I'm going with other racism. You see, that's gaslight. That's it's gaslight. Not both She's gaslight. That's gaslight. We're talking about a man and a woman. She brought family through the black guy. I'm not talking about black and white. 
I'm not. I still can't believe Juju said men complicate things. Hold on, hold on. Let me explain. Let me explain how we complicate shit, right? And it literally just happened to me a couple days ago. Hold on. Do you not just see how she complicated? I did not complicate nothing. I said something really regular, something mature, and she just said something about black. And white. I didn't even. I made a relatable family show. I'm All not I was even saying. talking about race right now. Like, <laughs> no, no. Let me. No, let me tell you. Okay, so that's what women do. Okay, perfect example. Yo, yo. What the fuck is going on right here? I'm talking about a fucking hat. A hat. Okay. We're talking about a hat. We hat. And, and tutu, she say, tutu. Yeah, what she say? Well, you know when the baseball player hit the ball, like it. <laughs> I'm talking about a fucking hat. <laughs> Why are we talking about a baseball player and a ball? Like, I'm talking about a fucking hat. And that's what we always go as men and women. We always go to the man talking logical. No, no, listen, listen. And that's where y'all go to. I'm asking. Y'all don't want to get through the whole conversation. Y'all want to go straight to how do we fix it. If you don't know the ingredients that fucked it up. You can absolutely do. Tamir, Tamir, can I, I just have the floor. I got to tell y'all something. Go ahead. So I just did an interview with this guy named Jesse Lee Peterson. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. I don't know if y'all know who this guy is. <laughs> this know. guy don't play. And the man breaks down to me. He says, the reason why the world is so messed up is because women worship the devil and men worship God. Oh. Now, Tamir, don't move. Hear me out. I say to him, no, I say to him, what? That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of oh, here. I'm sorry. When the nigga broke it down, I said, oh my God. Yeah. Right. You got to explain how you broke this down. Yeah. 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 So, so, because so, my so, guy, so, I got so, my, so, my, so, one so, of my mom. I got you. I got you. I got you. No, I'm going to tell you. When he broke it down, Tamir, when he breaks it down, it, I was like, wow, that's the most genius thing I've ever heard. No, he says, he says that. He says that he tells this story about Adam and Eve and all this other stuff. And he was like, basically, somebody, the devil was telling Eve, why would you, why would you, why are you running to the grocery store for Adam? Why are you doing all stuff for Adam when you could be, when you can be Adam? And then Steve, and then, and then Eve was like, hold on, so I, can, no, Eve was like, hold on, so I can work like Adam? I can do what Adam does? And he was like, yeah. And he says, women, and by the way, when he breaks it down, it makes sense. He says, women, women, when they get with their man, the, the thing that they want him to do, happy wife, happy life, is all rooted in giving her what she wants. He said, but what she usually wants is things that are not from God. She want purses. She want cars. She want things that is not from God. So then he says, so, no, oh my God. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm sorry. God made pussy. God made the pussy. God made the pussy. So he says, so he says, now, he says now, and by the way, he said this. You can go look up the interview yourself. He said, I said this, but when he broke it down, I said, and he said, he said, women, he said, so now what's happening is, is that guys like yourself or like us get with these women and now we're busting our ass to make them happy. Usually how we have to make them happy is by buying them things, spending money on things, taking trips. And he said, that's not the order that God wanted it in. The man is supposed to be the head of the house and the woman is supposed to follow her man. And if, and, and, and if the man is serving God, he's serving it's God, man, woman, family. And he said, if the man is serving God, then he's not, he's not just going out buying material shit and doing shit. So he said, women want material shit and only material shit. So now, like, by the way, when a woman want to date a man, you, what's the first thing she want to know? How much money he make? Yeah. Why does he want to Y'all let me finish, man. I hear you. I hear you. But I think that surface level. So Jesus is a bum? I think that no, surface level. I know, but y'all. But, 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 but I ain't never heard nobody. You I ain't never heard no woman nah, trying to date Jesus. You gotta let him finish. They ain't trying to date Jesus. But listen, a woman ain't trying to date Jesus. The, the, the but, simple but, guy. But, but what he said was, what he said was, he said, yeah. He said, he said, he said, he said, if women followed their husbands and their husband was allowed to lead the family the family would go further but he said and he and by the way he specifically spoke about black families he was talking about black people he said but black men are out here and so their god is now their woman so now they're serving their woman they're doing everything to make sure their woman has everything she needs so is he really doing god's work or is he but doing i'm not i'm not going i'm not going that's what he said i'm not going and i'm not going i hate to knock myself down all this Thing because I do look at women, black women, as like a form of God. Me too. I, I do look at them as that because they like a, they like like even with me when I look at my baby mamas, like when I get sick, I can't do shit with my babies. I be like, yo, I, I mean, I do, I still take care of them. I be right there with them, but I be like, yo, come get them. I don't want them to be sick. You know what I'm saying? But a black woman, like they be like, nigga, like. 
I got them. <laughs> so? I got them. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? So I look at them really like they 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 have some they're a goddess, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like they shouldn't look at us any other thing than God. Most of the time men are most of the time men are looked at as by women. By the way, we can talk about how men look at women. We can admit we want oh, yeah. pussy. I ain't gonna lie, we want pussy. But most of the time, women look at men as a vessel. Women look at men as a vessel to get what they want materially and to also show off for other women. Like, sometimes women don't want a husband. Yeah. They just want a nigga for the picture. Exactly. Shut the fuck up, that's nigga. You for the picture, that's, nigga. That's you, ain't, you ain't here for you oh, here no, for the that's picture. What, that's you what I was. That's I what I was. Opinion. Oh no, that's I what I was. I don't want you speaking, nigga. Oh, no. I want you to take this picture so all my friends can be like, bro, "Girl, you a ghost." Bro, listen. This is the most. This is why I say the, the shit. The marriage that I was in won the marriage, and it was the worst shit I ever had. So, like, only thing I got out of, and I respect God for it. I thank God for it. I got a lesson, and I got my kids out of it. And sure. I appreciate my, my, my lesson and my kids because I can live life now. And I can live it abundantly and breathe good because at first it was hard. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm in this shit, right? And I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm holding her up on a big pedestal. Like, like I'm yep. like, this is what a wife's supposed to be. Not seeing her actions, not looking at the actions like, yo, she's not even displaying this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's not even working. She's not even having to put nothing in. Like, you just... You going like you doing a lot, you know what I'm saying? But to her friends, to her family, she's doing everything. Yeah. Mm. Because she has time to do everything because she's with somebody of a, of a certain stature. stature. Yeah. Like you got time. You you it's money right here. Like even though she told me I was a broke ass nigga, I'm a broke ass nigga. I believe that. Mm. I really believe, and I took that in. You didn't have no value. I didn't have. I have no a question. Value. Hold, I, on, hold on, listen. See, Juju, but listen, listen. No, no. This, this, this is from this the beginning. This is therapy. Man. No, no, no. This is like, like from the beginning, Juju. You know what I'm saying? Like from the beginning, I, when I retrospect and I look at it backwards, I'm like, yo, cause train me, cause mm. train me to be mm. nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're like, when I would come home with accolades and stuff, it wasn't no celebration. It was like. Mm. So what? Yeah. When she came home, I was like with the roses. I was yeah. like, I, I'm doing stuff. I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? And it seemed like she would try to keep up with me and do something of the bigger. Like she would try to go bigger than me on everything I would do. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I like the fact that on Father's Day, you got me a band in the house at the four you're playing music. But it's one thing they not doing. Mm. And I noticed it. Who was that? They weren't playing none of the music that I like. Mm. Mm. They was just playing the music that she came up with, that she said that she liked. And I'm like, yo, like, so that means you don't know the music that I like. You never, we never had that conversation. Because you auditioned, I auditioned and, and she didn't. And I didn't. When I auditioned, she was sitting there. I was in another girl car. Mm -hmm. She was sitting there in the old girl car, mm -hmm. listening to all my problems, listening to what she shouldn't do. And what she should do. Mm. This is, oh, oh, for real? She didn't do that? And you didn't like this? Oh, okay, so I know what to do, okay. You like foot massages, you want me to massage your feet, you want me to massage you, you like, you love, you love your kid, okay? It just, it was just there for her. She didn't yeah. have to work for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She, but I had to work for everything. But the, and, and then and, the list got bigger as and, we went. And, and by the way, that is a system that is set up against men. Yeah. And by the way, and like, we're not hating women. I'm, I'm, about, I'm, and I'm, about, I'm about to say for the record. I love for the, women, for the, for the, for the record. I, for the record. I've been. I've been. I've been, I've been knowing. <laughs> now I'm gonna say for the record. I've been knowing Bam since 2004, 20 years now, and it's not about her. Cause I'm gonna ask you a question about that. But I. As a man, it's always the same story. Yeah. It's always, I'm doing my fucking best. Yeah, man. And let's be clear. Oh, you, you think you're going to get a pat on the back for doing what you're supposed to I'm do? I'm doing my best, though. Wow, but you get a pat on the back for doing nothing. Like, yeah. Mm, fuck, yeah. Right? No, no, but you just fuck the nigga. Yeah. Okay, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, I, do, I mean, does that mean we both get a pat on the back? Because so, I just fucked the bitch. Scrap, I have a question. Like, and so, this, is, this is a question to everybody on the couch. And this is like in the dating process, right? Sure. Have you guys ever put yourself in a predicament where you felt like you were, like, even in speaking with a woman, where intellectually you felt inferior? Have you ever put yourself in that predicament? Yeah. 
So now saying that making myself bigger than a woman. No, no. no, no he's theory. saying with a woman that so, you know smarter than that you that you know smarter than you, or that you know that it's like, like damn, I know I gotta do my, I gotta make sure I'm better to to. Of course, yeah. yes, yeah. 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 So in saying that, that's why I say like some of the things I say when we I say we overcomplicate things or we make it more difficult. Like sometimes we when we look at we approach situations and I and I'm doing it. I'm sure. speaking from like actually working on this with myself. Yeah, sure. Like we approach a situation and we're in this space. Where we're like. I'm gonna do everything that I feel like that she wants me to do for her, and we don't actually sit there and say, "Okay, cool. Let me let me dumb down how I feel about the situation and actually ask you the question: What do you want?" And now asking instead of us, instead but, but of us, you, but you're missing the point. Though. No, 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 I'm not. Okay, no, I'm not. Because you say, you say, you say, you're like, you don't get a pat on the back for doing the like for doing what you're supposed to do, bro. I, I realize that when I say we overcomplicate it, if you ask her, "What do you like to do on Tuesday?" and it's like. Tuesday, she might have just a routine that happens on Tuesday where you can take just the smallest thing off her plate to help her on a Tuesday. Where it's like, damn, nigga, you, that's all you had to do. So, like, literally. Hold on. But, but listen to that, though. Hold yeah, on. This is, no, this is where it get complicated at. This is where it get complicated at. You want some I, shit? I like what you, you said. You this show like to get your bitch back. No, 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 listen, right no, 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 it's real. You fucked up. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I ain't gonna lie. I understand that. I really understand that. And I have done that. I have done all that shit too. I, I've broken myself down to saying like, oh, okay, maybe I'm doing what I want to do for her and not what she want me to do for her. Cause she said that like, I mean like, you know, it, it's stuff like you have to learn a woman, like you have to know what we want. And like when I, when I, I can tell you what I need you to do for me and not what you want, like not how you would do it, but how I want you to do it for me. And that'll help me. And I said, okay, cool. Let, let, let me let me get that. You know what I'm saying? I learn it. I do it. Guess what happens? It's another list. It's <laughs> the list bigger, don't stop. The list don't stop. Bro, and I'm bro. like, yo. Uh, but that's the scrap. But, but I'm like, yo, so. Life don't stop. stop. No, life don't. What thank you. Narcissistic. Mm -hmm. And I had been, and I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I had got diagnosed with narcissistic abuse. Oh, like, wow. Like I had got oh, you really abuse. got diagnosed yeah, with that? Yeah, I got diagnosed with that. So, That's crazy. So my whole thing is when I look at it, and I didn't even, and the girl told, the woman told me that I was a narcissist. She told me, she was like, you're a narcissist. You, you gaslight shit. And I'm like, I don't even know these words she used. And I'm like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I want to argue with you. I don't know yeah, what that means. I'm like, I'm like yeah. maybe I am. You know, I don't know. Like, I'm, I was like, damn, I'm a narcissist, nigga. And I, I ain't going to lie to y'all. And I, and I want, like, any, any man out there, if y'all feel like I'm a bitch-ass nigga for this, I can take that. And I believed everything my wife said. You're supposed to. Me. I believed everything my wife oh, said. Oh, about she, you, okay. When she said I was a broke-ass nigga, when she said I was a narcissistic person, when she said I was this, I was that, I believed it. I didn't even know who I was no more. I believed everything she said about me. And then as soon as the divorce came, and it come to the money factor, and mm -hmm. we had to put our money on the table. Everybody put their money on the table. Don't and tell we, me you realize you have more. And we go look at the money. And my auntie come in there, my monty. I call her my monty, cause yeah. she's like my mom and my auntie. Cuz come in there, and she she real good with the with the numbers. You know what I'm saying? And my my lawyer real good with the numbers. And they said they they made me go in another room, and then they called me and said, Hey, come in here. I come in there. I look at it. And she say, what that say right there? I say, say 37,000. She say, that's one week. This next week, what that say right there? 40,000. She say, so, she say, so let me ask you something. If you got 37,000 one week and 40,000 the next week, how are you broke? <laughs> how are you, I mean, even if you spent all of it, like yeah. let's say you spent all of it, you don't have it no more. Yeah. How can you look at yourself as broke when you know you can get it again? Mm. And you've been doing this forever. And she say, can I go down the list of the stuff you buy? And I said, yeah. When I seen it was all for my kids mm. and it was all for the house and it was all for marriage shit and it was all for like shit that I had nothing to do with. Nothing was going to help me be happy about it. You know what I'm saying? And I was just mm. doing, I had got caught up in being a dad. I got caught up in being a husband. You know what I'm saying? And not being a man. Not just mm. being a regular person that got, because you're not supposed to stop none of that. 
with you married, you're supposed to still be a man. You're supposed to still be a daddy. You're supposed to still be a husband. You're supposed to still do what you like to do. I stopped doing everything I like to do because it was a problem. Me being me being up was a problem. Yeah. Me, me yeah. going, man, I was on the, the, the shit. What do you call that shit? When you on, on Instagram and you got split left the split screen. Live. You talking live, to the live. live. Cuz, it was an ugly white chick. Cuz hit me while I was doing the live and was like, oh wow, you really turned up for her. I'm like, oh yeah. What are we I hate talking that. about right now? Like, are we talking about a live session? And then get in front of other people and be like, I don't act like that. That ain't me. I don't do stuff like that. And you be like, well, I, I definitely went through it. I, it wasn't a dream, nigga. Like, I mean, right. I mean, I it was real to me. You know what I'm saying? When I went through it, I was like, God damn, that's a problem. Like. Shit, I thought, I mean, to, cause to me, let me tell you something, when I see a woman that's beautiful like that, and I'm gonna say baby mama number two, cause I feel like I've never been married. Baby mama number two, baby mama number two, I'm sorry. Like I, I look at her like, like she's a beautiful person. You know what mm. I'm saying? She's a beautiful, she has beautiful qualities. You know what I'm saying? When you look at her, she's beautiful. Like you be like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? But when you get down to the nitty gritty of some of these beautiful motherfuckers, they're very insecure. That's why we can't be yeah. shallow. They're very insecure. And I couldn't figure out in the world why a person that I would marry would be insecure because I felt like I was the shit. And I felt like she was the shit. And I'm like, there's no reason you should be insecure about shit. I don't give a fuck how many babies you have. I don't give a fuck how old you are. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Like, if I'm loving on you, you should feel amazing. But that's mm -hmm. so. But. I'm gonna tell you what comes into play. This is what comes into play. Where is it at? Where your phone at? Let me see. Can I see this? This comes into play. Mm. You don't matter no more. The shit that you tell her don't matter no more. When you when you, when she wake up and she ugly as fuck and you say, "Oh my God, you're so beautiful, baby," like stay just like that. Stay just like that. Like I, like, I, I you kiss you right now. I kiss you right now. That hot breath you got, I, I, I love all mm. on it. That ugly face you got with no makeup, I'm going to kiss all on it. When that don't matter no more, my nigga, and she do like this, she be like, oh, <laughs> thank you, and go on her phone. Oh, no. Nah. That's the first thing they praise in the morning. They go to their phone. You look at them first. They look at their phone first. And you sitting there like, hold, 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 hold. But that's why I asked, do you think social media had, or do no, you no, think, no, no, let me get them out. Let me get it's the person still. You, you, you can, like, social media is a device. That's an app. That's something small. That's my nuke. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A person is something that God made. That's just mm. a real human being. That's a soul. So when that soul let that run them, and it's not... A, a, a cordial thing no more. It's not me and you. It's not the humans that God made. It's not the the actual conversation that God made. God made the woman and the man for each other. You know what I'm saying? Like we we. I mean, if you go, I mean, if I'm not here, like who you gonna talk to? If I'm not here, who you gonna fuck? If I'm not here, who you gonna get all these things that you want from? And now they're telling themselves that they can get all these things by themselves. Social media is telling them that, hey, you don't need a man. You don't need a man. The white, hold on, go back, hold on, go back to the, to the, to the white guy. No, I'm listening. I'm the listening. white guy, right? He telling them, like, listen, I take care of the shit they don't take care of. I give you uh, <laughs> child support. I give you uh, <laughs> women support. We'll give you food stamps. We'll give you protection. We got everything you need. The black man. You don't need him. He's an animal. Mm. He's a monkey. I call him a service dog. Yeah, we there, we there, we there for the picture dog. and to pay the bills, and that's what we dog, do. Right? But then you go, and, and this is how you can tell that what I'm saying is real, right? But you, you can go in history where the phone don't exist. Social media don't exist, and you'll find a totally different woman. Mm. You will find a totally different man. Mm. You fight both of them. Both of us. So I have a question though, Scrap. So that, yeah. but there's a real question that comes into play. Yeah. Your your relationship was also put in a space where you were on reality TV with your relationship. So hold on, it does. Because hold on, hold on. Because guess what? It's other people on that show too. But hold on. Hold on. 
that's what he said. But they got to deal with real life, life after it. After, 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 but guess so, what? There's other people on that show that are still married to this day. But why? Why are they still scrap. married? Why are they still married? But hold on, scrap. Can I tell you why they still married? Why they still married? Because it was built off solid foundations. Mm. Mm, that's real. When they when they got married, it wasn't no phones. It wasn't it wasn't no social media. The woman wasn't it wasn't into that. It, the woman was into making her life better with her man. Mm -hmm. This this is what we grew up off of. That's what she grew up off of. She was grew up off that. But now the woman said, "Hey, I don't need him." Let me raise my three kids, my four kids by myself. Now let me ask you, does that sound smart? Does that sound healthy for the children? Does that sound stable? I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Not facts. So, so, so the reason I go, I, I'm not against you. I'm just trying to lay that that part out there. What I've been through, what I what I've seen, what I see all the time. I see women on this reality shit. I see women on social media crush niggas 24 seven. Mm. Crush them. If they have an up on a nigga, they gonna crush them. You feel what I'm saying? They gonna crush them like he he never existed. And, and I, I, I got to say this, if y'all ever look at Sierra, that's my, that's my sister, that's my little Atlanta sister. Mm -hmm. If y'all look at Sierra and her ex-husband, Eric's situation, she stood up on cousin, crushed him, and he a little nigga. He, he like 28, 29, he not even old, he not even her, her, her level, her ground level. Mm -hmm. He make money, mm -hmm. but he, 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 couldn't, he, couldn't, he couldn't stand up with her and look her in her eyes and fight her with that shit. He couldn't battle with her. Cause that's what it is about it. We we we're in the competition right now. We gotta we, now we got we now we're in competition with our women. You know what I'm saying? Now we gotta sit there and be like, lady, listen, I get it, I get it. I, yeah, you you got money, okay? You're smart, that's good. You know how to work around this shit. You know how to ooze your way through it. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you something. It's it's a thing called a good nigga and it's a thing called a bad nigga. But you're still a nigga. Mm. I don't give a fuck if you a woman. Yeah, you're a man. You still a nigga. You can stand up on me. You can put me down. You can make me feel like I ain't shit or I'm nobody. And you can stand up and you can feel you get all your accolades and your awards and you can just go through the city and be like, oh, I got a Maybach and I got Benzes and I got cars. But baby, when you go home at night, who you with? Are you by yourself? Are you with a whole new nigga that you went with 18 months ago? Mm. And here's the crazy part. And sometimes so they let that other nigga, sometimes they let the new nigga get away with shit you never let me get uh, away with. Well, hold on. You know why? Because the new <clears throat> nigga don't know shit. But scrap, since we talking about, but since he we talking about marriage, you. but scrap, scrap. He don't so, know you. But now I got to give you the real, though. Yeah. Since, since we talking about marriage, right? Because I, I literally had this conversation with my uncle. Give it to me. Uncle's been married for 42 years. Give it to me. Had it with my, my, dad my grandfather. Married 50 plus years, right? I'm, I'm sitting there, like, every time I'm, I'm with homies that are, are, like, older people who've been married for a while, I'm asking them, like, how, like, how did you get married? How did you meet your wife? They tell me, they said, shut up. They said, I just shut my mouth. Not even shut up. I give you a great example, right? I was, so I was, when I was just in Africa, right? I was talking to my homie, my homie Chaucer, been married 13, 14 years, right? He met his wife, he met his wife, he was dating his wife's friend. Like, they were, he took her on a date. But he knew, he said when he first seen his wife, he knew it was love at first sight. Mm. Mind you, prior to even getting to that point, he, he had to meet her. He was like, yo, he had to tell him, tell, like, be real with the girl that he took on a date. He was like, yo, I really don't like you. I, I met your friend. I feel like we have more in common. So he told her that. So, so mind you, mind you, that's why I say we overcomplicate shit. So, like, so this goes back to the overcomplication shit, right? We get to the place where we're so, like, and I, I, I'm a victim of this myself. I do this myself. I get to a place where I'm like, because I want to appease and make sure her feelings are felt, then I, I probably would have had that conversation saying, like, yo, like, I really like your friend. I, I've spoken to your friend. We have much more in common. Because I'm like, you know what? I'm with Shorty. Shorty's bad. And I might fuck. Like, like we, 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 we complicated that way. not complicated. That's man shit. But so, so, look, so why don't we say, so why don't we not take the approach of saying, okay, cool, let's be, let's keep it a hundred percent, right? So you're talking about being mad, right? You know, one thing that everybody, they always say, they're equally yoked. I'm like, how the fuck do you become equally yoked with somebody? Like, how do, what is the act, idea of actually being equally yoked? It's like, you can't become equally yoked until you know who you are as a person. So, you, when you talk about the ways that she's, she's acting and the things that she's doing, 
bro, that's because she didn't know herself. She didn't know herself, and she also has stuff, stuff that she didn't even wasn't even able to heal her traumas. So in the same the same, it's, you said you were in a vulnerable space and you were healing yourself. So you guys are both two damaged motherfuckers that are getting together and trying to create a union. Yeah, that shit is is a, is a train wreck. Yeah, it's a train yeah. waiting to crash. I'm, I'm trying, what's the point though? I'm lost. But, but, but my whole thing is, what's the point? I'm lost. My point, is, my point is my point is to even to even get to a place of being equally yoked with somebody. Like when you when you're dating somebody, you have to date with intention. Yeah, and you have to you have to communicate with intention. So when I say communicate with intention, I'm, that's why I say I'm not asking what your fucking favorite color is. That is that is borderline bullshit. Why? Why? Because if if I'm getting to know you and I'm getting to learn you. Like, like if you're spending enough time around me, like I like, like great example. I was watching a watching us uh, uh, doing COVID. There was this couple. They was this, their first ever time getting together. They were going out of town. They had a a, a, ba- a vacation plan. It was their first ever date. And so it's a it's a special on Netflix. Their first ever date was a, a vacation, in Costa Rica. They got caught in Costa Rica because of COVID. So now, now these two motherfuckers who didn't, didn't know each other, they were going on the date, yeah. have, have had, had to now they're, they're stuck in Costa Rica for three and a half months. And, and it's, it's just them. Like, you don't know this person. person. But now, now if, if I'm, I'm with, with this person every day, day I'm, I'm learning you. I don't have to, you don't have to, I, I'm not going to ask you I'm still lost baseline on questions. So, so what I'm saying to become equally yoked, even get in a relationship, you have to actually learn your partner. Because when you learn your partner, Juju, Juju, you hit me out. I hear what you're saying, but it's long-winded and it's not getting nowhere. Right. No, hear me. Because Let me finish. Let me finish. You didn't let me finish. Because you, it's long-winded and I'm still trying to get I'm telling you, mine is long-winded, but I'm giving, giving you the truth. Like, yeah, but, but, bro, but like, bro, the reason I'm having, Ray, but the reason I'm having, Ray, Ray, but my point is, my point is having elevated conversation. Like, literally, like, let's take out, like, as men, we we get caught in, like, we talk about social media, we talk about all these different things that, that affect our relationship, where those shits really don't matter if you have a real relationship, genuine relationship and communication with a woman. I don't give a fuck. Hit me out. But he's, but this is what I'm saying. But what I'm telling you is, that's why. Well, here's the, the thing. They, they don't think. No, I don't think they don't want it. They don't think that they have to put effort in for it. Yes, exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, bro, listen to me, bro. Yeah. We don't hear men saying, "This is what I need." <laughs> men ha- all want the same thing: peace. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Every man, I want peace. Not all. Of us. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. But when you ask a man what he wants, at the top of this is peace. We ask a woman what she wants. She's like. We are there to serve them in their minds, yeah, bro. I'm being, I'm being honest with you. I'm being honest with that's you. What the, I, I gotta say that's something. What I, told I, me, I, I, I gotta tell you something. Service. I'm like, I already do service. Like, what else the fuck do you want? Like, Listen, you know, Jack. Can I tell you something? I done fucked. I mean, I Jack. Suit on and Juju. Like, put, I, I serve you. Like, I done fuck so many women. I done fuck so many women. I don't. But let me tell you what I do know. Let me tell you. You want me to tell you the cycle? See, we acting like we don't fuck women. And we don't know what's up. Like we ignorant. Nah. Let me tell you the cycle when you fuck with women. You meet her. You show her who you are. Yeah. You get to know her. Yeah. Whole time she's playing with her little role. Yeah. She's playing. Yeah. She, and then she finally comes in. You get the pussy. Now she's infatuated with you, but she don't know you. Yeah. So you want to the next bitch. Because, yeah. bitch, you was just something to conquer. You could have been my friend, but you didn't act like a friend. Yeah. You acted like somebody you that was like, you want me, you got to come get me. You want me, you're going to have to show me who you are. You're going to have to do these for me. And then yeah. we do it. We fuck. The and then we, we don't do want it, you no more. By the time we do it, we feel like we done been on the dog and pony oh. race and we like, we got played. But, but, I'm I'm trying to, but that's why I'm trying to. That's not true, though, Juju. Yes. I that's swear. Why, like, that's, 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 so that's, that's why you, I'm trying to get us from having surface level interaction. Well, you should be giving to us. You need to be telling. You're telling him and we need to. This is a conversation that needs to be had a cause. Like, and this, what's funny is. Where's my friend? Where's my friend? Where's my friend? Where's my long haired friend? Come on, come on. But if it anything, Ray, no Ray, 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 if anything, the reason we're having this conversation is because the people that are watching this shit, bro, like the reality is like, bro, like I've been in a place like, bro, I was engaged and that shit, the hardest thing, the hardest thing in the world is watching my fiance walk out the door with my daughter. That's the hardest you could never, like you would never feel a pain that deep. However, let me tell you something. What's the, let me tell you something. I like I'm trying to understand the point. I'm just, I'm not being funny. I don't understand. I like what he's saying. I mean, it's true, but it's like, it's another side to it. It's like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have to give it to them. They put down the biggest act ever. You feel what I'm saying? They put down the biggest act ever. Let me tell you something, man. Like, I, when it comes to me being married, I'm not, I'm not sitting over here saying, like, I'm scarred forever. I'm just telling you a fucking story, bro. Like, and I've seen it a billion times. Like, the man, he come in, you. You and me, me and you, we, 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 us. We come in and we say, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? We go in, we be like, oh man, I don't want this, I don't want the new girl to feel like 
I ain't telling the truth. I ain't being honest. I want to be honest. I want to be solid. I want her to know me. Ooh, we come in there telling them, boo, and they like, I ain't finna let this nigga get me. I'm got, and you know, they, they own another vibe. It's like a whole nother spectrum of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we, it's like we coming in and they playing against what we coming in. Like, we trying to do this, they like this. They trying to, they going backwards. We coming forward, like, I'm trying to connect with you. They like, yeah, but I'm trying to like, like, I ain't finna let you just, like, I don't know what the last nigga did, my nigga. Like, I don't know what that nigga did to you. Like, you don't know what the bitch did to me, but I ain't trying to like even hand you this shit. Like, I'm trying to like, be solid with you so we can come in on a logical type platform. Because men are logical, right? Like we come in logical, like, hey, I think if if I if I come in lying and shit, this is gonna fuck it up off top. So let me just be honest. Like, hey bitch, I'm I'm freak nasty. You feel me? I'm, I'm freak nasty. I, I like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I like to make money. I love my kids. Woo, you tell her the whole get down and cuz just use that for her little shit. To show you that she's like, she know you. Bitch, you don't know me. I just told you that. That's the shit, that's the surface shit. I just showed I, I I told you that, and that's what you use. Like you gonna you gonna just use that. You're not gonna just try to come in and just learn a nigga. Like, you're not gonna just <laughs> dig deep and you're not gonna ask me no questions. When we sit down, we're not gonna have conversations about me. We're just gonna have it about you. That's what he's saying. He's saying it's like when we do it, we come with the full like Body of love, like, hey, baby, like, even if you don't give me no pussy, but baby, the I, audition. But that's why I even came up from my, st- my, my standpoint, like, bro, I had to open up. I realized, too, that I had to stop being shallow with my dating, how I dated, too. Like, you don't just date for looks. You don't just date for, like, you date for... Man, all of them do it. The ugly ones and the good the good looking uh-huh. ones. Like, the ugly ones, they know they got I'm good pussy. Ugly, I'm not saying the ugly ones. You know what I'm saying? The ugly ones know they got good pussy, and they know, they know the... <laughs> They know the certain shit not to do. Like they know not. They're in the the ugly ones are in the business of not getting walked by. Like they they in the business of getting kept. The beautiful ones, they're in the business of trying to go the opposite way of a nigga. They like I want to make sure this nigga know he can't run me. He can and we trying to be we I like we trying to be like we trying to run the bitch and we trying to be run. Like we like we fuck with you. I want you to like. And they like, no, nigga, I'm, I'm going to run you. What are you talking about? Like, what is this? Right? What are we having right now? I'm beautiful. You don't see I'm beautiful? Like, you're supposed to do what I say. Like, I, and you be like, bitch, like, I'm beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as a nigga say how he feel about himself, then, oh, he's narcissistic or he's, uh, he, he feeling himself. He feeling himself. First of all, bitch, like, we, bitch, you feel yourself. Feel yourself. I want you to feel yourself because you make me feel like I'm with a bad bitch. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm going to feel myself. I feel like I'm a, I'm a fine-ass nigga. I feel like I'm a fine-ass nigga. Does that, does that irritate you? Does that make you feel like I'm, I'm, being, I'm being a woman now? Because the niggas say he a fine-ass nigga, they be like, oh, he want to be a bitch. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, you acting, they tell you you acting sassy. Oh, you acting sassy. Oh, but I just seen you say that this nigga was fine on your Instagram. You said, oh, this nigga fine. Mm. But I look better than that nigga, though. <laughs> I look way better than that nigga. I feel like I know I look better than that nigga. And I know I got my shit together. Baby, baby, you must go somewhere else. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm starting to tell these bitches. Bitch, you, hey, man, listen. You only, hey, listen. <laughs> You only, and listen, I'm, I'm only calling a woman out her name when she act like a bitch. When you act like a bitch, you a bitch. You definitely a bitch. But when you a real woman, you a real woman. And anybody get mad at that, those are the women that we don't need in our life. That's what I'm saying. It's simple. It's logical. I like a woman that got her shit together. And that's doing something with herself and got something to bring to the table. Don't act, don't have nothing to bring to the table. Bitch, you're a worker, and I'm a motherfucking, I'm a boss, and you come in and tell me you a boss, bitch? Mm-hmm. Right. How the fuck is that possible? Because you got, because you getting child support. How the fuck is that possible and you getting food stamps? You're not a boss, bitch. A boss, bitch, take care of herself. She's not going to allow the government to take care of her. She's not going to allow a man to take care of her. 
she's not gonna allow her daddy to take care of her. Cause I'm gonna be like, all right, I don't fucking need y'all niggas. Like, the fuck are y'all doing? I need somebody that can give me what I need. Love, compassion, and ride for a bitch. Mm -hmm. A real boss bitch. A real boss bitch, she just want a motherfucker to ride for. She just want a motherfucker to be there for. Like, I can take care of myself, thank you. They always say it, niggas take it as a diss, but that's some real shit. Mm. Hey, you need anything? No, I'm good. I'm straight. I got it on my own. What can you bring to the table, nigga? What can you bring to the table? You a man, what can you bring to the table? They looking for the real boss bitches looking for the same thing that a real boss nigga looking for. Okay. What can you bring to the table? Because I don't need you other than that. I don't need you. I can jack my dick. I can bust a nut. You can play with your pussy. You can bust a nut. We can do the same. We do the same shit. I want somebody that's compatible with me. I want somebody that's equally yoked with me. Hey, let's figure it out. If we're not trying to figure it out, then you're on some other shit like I supposed to figure you out. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I supposed to figure you out. I do the dog and pony horsey shit, and it ends up like how it always end up. We're not together no more. I, I, I want to jump in because I want to ask Thank you thing to back up what he's saying. Yeah. As a man, yes or no, you can all just answer this really quick. Do you like lace front wigs? Hell no. no. no fuck no. Every, Hell every no. Man, hold on. Every man says fuck no. Yeah, I, I, like, I like the every natural Every man shit. says fuck no, but here's the thing. Why do women wear it? Because. They're not wearing it for us. No, 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 no. They're wearing it for other women. Yeah. Women want you to back up their ability to brag about who they are, how they got together for other women. Ooh. A billionaire woman can walk in here right now. A billionaire man can walk in here right now. A billionaire, right? He can walk in here and he's like, man, look, man, I got like 80 bitches. We're all going to be like. Yeah. That nigga Levi always gonna be is like, yo, I fuck with that. Yeah. And money, he's doing right. A billionaire woman walks in the room. She says to a whole bunch of women, I'm, I got this, I'm running my business, you know, me and my dog, da da da, whatever it is. As soon as she walks out the room, all the women saying, that bitch ain't happy. <laughs> he ain't got no man. <laughs> Bro, everything women do is to oppress other women. We don't like lace. But men do don't. too, though. No, no, no. I, I ain't gonna I, lie. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't do nothing to impress other men. No, I don't. But oh. but I see men that do. Those are new yeah. niggas. I, I see I see yeah. niggas I, in the I, corner. I, I see niggas on this on on the couches. I see niggas spending unnecessary money in the club. I, like why do we throw money at the strippers? Yeah. We trying to impress. We trying to tell another nigga that I got more money than you. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be trying to. I want to. I want to fuck the bitch. Well, I just, I no, 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 no. Some of us. No, 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 no. Some of no, us want to fuck the bitch. Yeah, I wish you. But 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 we want to fuck the bitch. We want to be like like bitch. I want you to know I got paper. Hold like, on, scrap, scrap. I gotta ask you a question. Yeah. Because for the sake of this, full transparency, I, that means not so bad. I love her. If she was he, if she was here right now, what would she be saying? Her problem was. Because I, I feel like let me tell you what my word is. Yeah. That's my homie. I can feel her calling me saying, "Why you know me? Why did you happen?" I'm like. I'm, for the sake of the let me let me tell you I something, want, bro. I want him to let me let me let me be honest with let me be honest with everybody yeah. that's watching. Like, nigga, I ain't said a lie yet. Mm. I don't. I went. I went lie on the kid, the, my kid's mama. I went lie like that. Like, I I don't have nothing to gain from that. I really don't have nothing to gain from talking about her mm. at all. Like, I don't have to talk about her because it gets me nothing. Gotcha. I don't. I don't like. I'm not going like. If I talk about her, nobody's gonna be like, oh my God, did you see what Scrappy said about? They don't give a fuck. I seen it. I've witnessed it myself. Yeah. They don't care if I talk about her or not. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to empower the women and the men that that have to battle with narcissistic abuse. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? From uh, their partner. Be because, because when you lay in the bed with these people, you're really thinking that. I love this person. I want to make this person bigger. Let me let me tell y'all something. Go to, uh, go to my page. I ain't, I ain't had the time or the energy to do it yet. I ain't had all the time and energy to delete all my pa my pictures and shit. Mm -hmm. You can go all the way back to years, nigga, and show and you can see that I've been trying to promote her and help her with who she was, mm -hmm. what she trying to promote. I've been get right there just trying to she she don't even have the same power I got to even help me. Mm -hmm. She can't help me. Like when she when she threw her little stuff out, like. I'm the one that helped you get your followers yeah. because you said it was stolen from you. Yeah. When, I, when I got with her, she was like, oh, my followers are gone. I need you to, I didn't even catch on to it then. That she was just Instagrammed out. Like, like she was worried about that more than who she was. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I need my followers up. I'm, 
I'm like, oh yeah, I say something good about you every day. You know what I'm saying? And just keep go back. Just go back to all my posts. For the sake of this conversation, what would what do you think her thing would be? Do I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. By the way, I, by the way, I'm only. I asking, don't care. I'm only asking because. Listen, you listen. Know, I, 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 at like first, kind of like and I'm, 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 I'm gonna say it to the women so because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want the women to think that I'm being harsh, and I'm being, and, and, yeah, 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 you know, like I don't want the women to think I'm being harsh or I'm being negative. Like I really went through something and it was bad. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't the regular shit that niggas go through. You know what I'm saying? So. And I put it on myself. I, it, it, was, it was all on me. I, 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 I wanted the person, and I, I didn't look at the red flags. When the red flags came up, probably she didn't look at my red flags. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same time, the person told me any and every negative thing they could tell, tell me about me all the time, every day. So it was a lot of, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this, but my whole thing is, I was doing this though. Mm. You said you wanted this, I did that, and as big as the list got, I couldn't keep up with the list. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I became lesser of a person than I am. I said that maybe I'm not that nigga because I can't give her the super duper list. You feel me? But before me, I never seen nobody come up with that list. I never seen nobody give her that list. I never seen nobody marry her. I never, and she was out with all the guys. You feel what I'm saying? All, I seen her with, hey man, listen. I seen her who, I seen who she was. I seen who she was. I didn't judge her about that shit. I was like, that's somebody I fuck with. Mm. So I want to fuck with him regardless. You accept it for what it I is. accept it for what it is. Cuz come tell me, she she should have listened to everybody that told her something negative about me. Okay. Wow. You feel me? I just I'm not a judge. You know what I'm saying? I'm not God. You know what I'm saying? So I just looked at you for what you told me you was, even though I knew who you was. You know what I'm saying? I seen you around with everybody. I seen you. I, I know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Don't get married and then try to go into the other person, the, the, the perfect person, because I'm married. She like to use that. Oh, I'm a wife. I'm not a baby mama. I'm an ex-wife. No, you're definitely a baby mama now. Damn. You're definitely a baby mama. An ex-wife acts like an ex-wife. An ex-wife, we're going to try to get stuff together. Mm -hmm. Ex-wife, we're going to come together. We're going to be like, we're not married no more, but guess what we're going to do? We're going to come together. We're going to make stuff good for the kids. Mm -hmm for our life so we won't have to be stressed. We don't have to be in here like we are combative, like, like we're against each other. Like, why would you want your kids to look at each other like they're against each other? Exactly. No, we're not against each other. So what I had to do, what I had to do because I seen the narcissistic in her, I seen what I was diagnosed with and I watched, I went back retrospect and looked at it and I was like, damn, I'm fucked up. I am really fucked up. I'm done right now. I'm I'm on the bottom. My auntie told me straight up. She was like, "Yo, you are depleted." Like she was like, "I don't know what happened to you, but you, I, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna let you talk to a psychiatrist." I had to talk to a psychiatrist, bro, to come up out of that because she was saying that that was me. I was the person that was doing all this. I didn't even know the words. I didn't even know what narcissistic mean. I didn't know what gaslighting mean. I didn't know what none of this shit mean. Like, she was telling me, oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, like, you a real fuck nigga. Like, you a sucker nigga. Like, telling me shit like that. I'm like, oh, that's how you really feel about me, huh? And I ain't gonna lie. When I went on that, that Millennium Tour, yeah. and I, I seen, you know what I'm saying? I seen the old fling. Seen the old fan? No, fling. Okay. I seen the old relationship. Oh, you had that you had or something? I seen Diamond. No, no, no. Oh, listen. <laughs> they were like, I gotta get that back. No, no, listen. Got you. Let me tell you what happened. Because it was one point the wife had the brain yeah. and the heart at the same time, and she could run the muck. Yeah. Mm. And so she start she started going up to fuck with the upper echelon type people. 
in my face while we married, but nobody seen it. They they when she when she was doing her little lives and stuff, they thought it was just her and the girls. But I seen I seen the 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 white man, the old white guy. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> so, so I seen I seen certain shit, and I I, I I had questions. We married. I had questions. What's going on? Why are we going to the Usher concerts without your husband? Are oh, you going with your cousin? But why are you not going with me? You say you wanted me to hook you up with that. I I went through all the stuff to do it, and I hooked it up. But then now you over there. I had to put my self-esteem on the line. I had to put who I am on the line and call JD and you know what I'm saying, all the people that know Usher and hook that up. But 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 you just oh, okay. Okay. No, 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 listen. That's no listen. Listen, listen, listen. That's what I wanted to know. It was it's supposed to be an old basketball coach. Ladies. An old basketball coach. No, I'm just saying. I'm 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 just saying. I'm just saying, it was a lot of stuff done under like under everybody's eyes that they didn't see. Out with boxers, out with just living life. Not concerned with their husband, not concerned with their man, not, not giving a fuck. Oh, because guess what? Guess what she was taking? She was taking how my mama treated her and she would put it on me. She would take how people treated her and put it on me. And I'll be sitting there like, cuz I'm here helping you with the kids every day. When you come home from your little job, that your, your little store that's not popping, mm. I was here with your kids all day long. I, when you got home, you didn't have to feed them. You didn't have to give them a bath. You didn't have to do anything. They just, only thing they wanna do is just see their mama, hug you. I ain't seen you all day. You know, stuff like that. Or it'd be times where I know for a fact you've been up with these babies, so in the daytime, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to them to like two o'clock. Yep, I wake up like six, seven when they wake up, and I go play with them. I do everything with them all day long. Let you sleep all day long because you've been up with them. And then when you get up, and they come up there, you like, I need help. You need help with what? Being a mama. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, mm. that's what you do. That's, that's, that's part of, you know what I'm saying? That's part of having babies, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the mama going to be a mama. They don't want me, for real. I mean, to be honest, they don't. You are a substitute. Yeah, I'm the substitute teacher. They don't give a fuck about me. I mean, even though I'm there all day with them, like, they, they be like, at some point, they be like, hey, nigga, where my mom at? <laughs> like, where's mom? I be like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Cuz coming like when, and cuz she would be there all day in her store that wasn't even popping yet. And my whole shit is, what were you doing all day? If you have bad reviews, people not getting their stuff, what were you doing all day? I'm with the kids. I know what I'm doing. I'm with the kids. People, no, 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 no. Listen, I just want to just stop <laughs> everything. I just because because Ray Ray want to give no Ray want to give props. I want to give props too. I want to give props to the daddy. You feel what I'm saying? Because I was there all day. You can go back to all my posts. Just go back. Just go back. I, it's still there. I know it's still there. I never I never deleted the post with my babies. Like I love my babies. I stay down with them. Like if I got something to do, I'm gonna sacrifice what I got to do for my babies. Even if it's going to make me a million dollars, I'm going to sacrifice what I got to do for my babies. Go look at it. Cuz is ready to go. She ready to go. Mm. She said she had, uh, what's the shit, postpartum? Well, if you got postpartum, you're supposed to treat everybody the same. You can't help it. You're going to curse everybody out. But you were just cursing me out. <laughs> <laughs> you feel yeah. what I'm saying? You were, just, you were just having that my little ego. You know what I'm saying? You was having that who Scrappy was. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. Everybody else, like they don't even know you even act like that. Your friends, they don't even. They they look at me and be like, she never would do that ever. I was like, uh huh, <laughs> yeah, okay. But but it all that, when her when her little friends try to take up for her on the gram and stuff, they try to just stand up for her. I'd be like, yeah, you don't even know it. Yeah, you ain't even got a chance to. When she ain't win against you yet, 
That ain't been your opponent yet. Once that's your opponent, because I've seen friends come and go, and they got my story. They got the same story I got. Mm. They got the same, the, the, all the friends that left, the Stephanie's and everybody got my story. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> listen. No, you, you dug it know, out the I ground. Didn't know. I didn't know. I, you I dug didn't, it out the ground. You I kept did, talking about did, it. Did, and, yeah. I, and I didn't want you to talk about it. I wasn't even going to say I'll nothing go. about it. But you kept talking about it. I'm going to speak my truth like she speak her truth when she get on these little platforms. Mm-hmm. I'm going to speak my truth because a woman speak her truth, right? Daddy going to speak his truth. Mm. Daddy, dad, daddy has stepped in the building. When you go to the page and you look at them, them kids, when they, what do you see them kids doing when, they, when they're with their daddy? What are they doing? Are they having fun? Are they, they living a prosperous life? What are they doing? And then when you go to her page, it looks like a whole movie has been made. Whole movie. I'll, I'll, I'm just speaking facts on how women move, man. Like certain women, not all women, certain women. I even, let me tell you something, Ray. And I don't want to say this because hey, you, you give me the platform to say it. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Hey, shout out to Tim. What's him, man? Where is Swift? Where you at? Yeah. Hey, man, listen. Let me tell you something, bro. Like, she was trying to create the narrative while we were still married that she was doing everything by herself. Everything. She was doing everything by herself. So I, I would go to Miami to make money because that's the most easiest place for me to make money other than Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? If I can't make no money, I'm having a broke spurt. I'm like, well, I'm finna go where I can make money. You know what I mean? I still got to pay the bill. Yeah. My half anyway, because it was 50-50. That's what she said. She said, you need a partner. You need to have somebody 50-50. Mm-hmm. I said, OK. That was in the beginning. She switched it up in the end. She was looking at social media. OK, it's cool. OK. She even said it. Only y'all can go to her page, too, and look at it. She was like, I'm not sick. I'm not fucking with nobody, no 50-50. Oh, OK. Shit, but that's what you told me. You said, that's what I needed. You shouldn't be with nobody that she was talking about Erica. You shouldn't be with nobody. She was talking about Diamond. You shouldn't be with nobody you had to take care of. You should have 50 feet. You should have a partner. Oh, okay. But then we get married. Everything changed. She look at social media. Oh, I'm supposed to be taken care of. Uh, okay, okay. So listen. I don't understand. I, I have not yet to understand how I was in my 30s. Mm-hmm. And a woman... Lied to me about her age, cause I could not, I could not understand that mean? for the. Listen to me, what I'm trying to tell you. I'm in my thirties, and the motherfucker trying to calm me down. I'm going to her, her uh, family functions, and we in Compton, we we having a ball, you know what I'm saying? But the stories is like crazy, like shit that happened before I was a certain age, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, hold on, cause like I was like. Four. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I had to be a real mature four-year-old to go through that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like a certain, I was different. I was, I was like, damn. For a minute, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was, I was confused. I was sitting there like, damn, like I'm like California people and Atlanta people are really different. Like, we really mature differently. Like, I wasn't on that when I was four years old. But she was eight years old or seven years old she was three years older than me not saying that's a big yeah, thing sure. but we go back to the the word my nuke like you, that's something small to lie about right if somebody lied to you about their age my nigga How eight, you find the real age? i was on the third i was on the third um what's the what's the shit anniversary i was on the third anniversary second baby Second baby you born. Like, yeah, yeah, I was I, I got married. Like I was already married. Well, how you how you in a relationship? How, don't you when you get the license you gotta see ID? Yeah. You ain't never traveled with it, the ID came up? She had an ID that said my age. She was it said it was my age. Oh, but then ID? Oh, shit, I listen, I listen, listen, bro, listen, bro. Oh, listen, bro, listen, bro. To this day she's still doing the same thing, cause I seen when she got locked up, the shit say she's 37. I said, whoa, so now you younger than me. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now, now let me tell you something. Now, if it wasn't, no, no, listen. If it wasn't no trying to put me out, right, right, right. if she did try to put me out in the beginning, I'd take all my shit. 
I oh. fucked the shit out of Diamond. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did that shit because I, I went through something. I went through some, and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I said, you know what? You ain't finna play with me, ho. You ain't finna play with me. You ain't finna play with me. I see what you're doing, yeah. but they don't, the world don't see it, but you ain't finna play with me. Right. You ain't finna play with me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a real, I'm a real nigga. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm straight up, for real. Like, I let you play with me, but I ain't finna let you have at me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, so now I'm finna, yeah, like, we're on tour now. Yeah, you didn't know this. You didn't you know this scrap was gonna come out. She thought I was gonna always be daddy and husband, daddy and husband. He not gonna, he not gonna, he not gonna mature. He not gonna come back. Yeah, yeah. The comeback is not real to her. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It wasn't real to her. Yeah. She stopped believing. The come scrap be coming back doing uh, like a tours and shit is not real to her. Cause the tour came up. Mm. I'm on the road. I ain't even talking to Diamond mm. at all. Cuz bring it up. Oh, I see you on stage with her. Like, what's, what's going on, huh? Put the thought in Hey, listen. This is what we do. This is for a living. I, if thought still went in my head, cause I ain't like Shouter, for yeah. real. I ain't fuck with Shouter. Like, I ain't fuck with Diamond yeah. like that. I ain't really. But one day, cuz I just looked over, and cuz looked over, and I was like, I ain't <laughs> I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, you know what? I said, I said, Shawty, I ain't finna let Shawty play with me like that. But I had got too drunk, and, and, and my little homie, I won't fuck him up to this day. My little homie gave me a pill, and, and I lost my mind. <laughs> I do not know what happened that night. Nothing sexually happened. Okay. But. I had the most fun that I ever had in my life, and I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. No, no. Uh, 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 what was his name? Travis Porter. They was there. They said they told me. Trillville told me. Diamond told me. Everybody like fans told me they was in me, nigga. When I when I came to the next day, Cub was like, "Yeah, you might well go on and stay with her." I seen. I seen everything. And I said, I don't even know what fuck happened. I, I still don't know what happened. To this day, I don't remember nothing. I ain't seen nothing. Didn't she posted a picture of you in the bed. Who? Didn't she? No, 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 no. This, this was later. Oh, okay. I, I, I wasn't in. I didn't. It didn't happen. Yeah. Like you know, it didn't happen. Like baby mama number two thought it happened. Yeah. That happened after she filed for divorce. Oh. Because she was so tight about Charlotte. She was so tight about Diamond because Diamond. I was with Diamond when I first fucked Shawty. You know mm. what I'm saying? I was still with Shawty. We had to, we was in the same house. Yeah. So she was real tight about Shawty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She had been trying to connect with Shawty on some rap shit, and I didn't even know she knew Shawty. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know she knew my my little. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What I was with, and all to come find out. And everybody was like, "Man, you could have picked anybody else, but that motherfucker. She she not fucking with you because of that." And I'm like, "Why? Like Diamond ain't like." Baby mama, like, baby mama, you should really feel like a certain kind of way about. Yeah. She not baby mama. Like, even though she done almost had my baby, she not baby mama. Mm. So why are you so heated about Shawty? Mm. Oh, because you, you slick wanted Shawty life. Like, you, you, like, you wanted that shit. You, you wanted the, you yeah, wanted everything. You yeah. stayed with you. Hey man, listen man, I seen all of it. Cause you to tell me, oh he ain't, he ain't post me, he ain't bring me on stage with you. I didn't, I did not see none of this shit when I was with her. I did not you, see you it. Blinded. I was blind. I just love Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted her to be. Man, I did a whole. Let me tell you something. This person's supposed to be a rapper. Cause say she a rapper. Nigga Snoop Dogg and man Snoop Dogg hit me. He was like, hey bro. <laughs> He said, bro, you going up right now. I see you in the studio. I'm finna pull up on you here in Atlanta. His son did something over at the uh football hall of fame yeah. shit. Cuz came, it was like, it was like four, way before we got married. Yeah. Cuz came over there. He came over there. Man, I did a song with him. I did two songs with Cuz. I did like that. I said, cause you from Compton. I said, I'm gonna give this to you. Because y'all from LA. Yeah. Have you ever heard it? Exactly. Why? Huh? Why? <laughs> I don't know. A real rapper would have did it and been like, nigga, I got a song with Snoop, nigga. He the fuck you talking about? That's a real rapper. But she was trying to compete with me, my nigga. Mm -hmm. 
she was trying to compete with me. So if I did my song with Snoop, I got like three or four of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because never put it out. I'm like, Come, what's up? Like, what we doing? You got it. When we get a house, it's her all up in the, and, and it's her everywhere yeah. in the house. When we first get our first big house, yeah. cuz is everywhere. And I'm like, hell no, I got a daughter, cuz. Like, my daughter gonna be up in this bitch. Yeah. Cuz I'm, I'm fully on, on my kid. Like, you, I. You want your daughter to know that you still have That I still, house. yeah, like, yeah. You, you, you still I live here. Yeah. I ain't move on without you at all. That's some real but you know what my daughter said? You know how solid my daughter said? You know yeah. how solid she was? She was like, daddy, like, she's a woman. Like, you don't even do none of that shit. That, yeah, that's. Okay. Uh, Therapy. I like this. Oh no, nah, it's real therapy, nigga. I love it. Hey, what that what that look at? <laughs> get it cracking. Get it out. Get it out. Yeah. Nah, I want y'all nigga. Listen. I don't want to ever have to say none of this shit again, well, nigga. I don't want none of this shit to even be said again, my nigga. Like I ain't even gonna speak on this shit ever again. I'm gonna I'm gonna let her I'm gonna let her rebuttal. <laughs> A, a boat trip with a whole bunch of niggas, man. Me and her wasn't even fucking with each other. Yes. Her go out there, and you know how niggas be. Niggas be like, shit, nigga, I'm finna got them yeah. spike it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so they spike it. <laughs> Cuz, listen, why are you the only one that drink the spike shit? Nobody else drunk it. You the only one that drink it. Mm. So she hit me like, hey, these nigga drug me. Like, I'm fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But because I be on drugs and shit, I be I was on pills and all that shit at the time. I knew how to come down from that. So I'm I was like, man, come on, girl. Like, you know, she came over, I thought she was lying, but then when I seen her, I was like, oh, you geeked up. Yeah. I was like, oh, you geeking, geeking. Like her eye was big and shit. She was biting. She was like, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, you geek. I, I got con. I ain't used to seeing you like that. I got con that baby down, you know what I mean? So I went on ahead and got down, I, I gave her some milk. You gotta give them some cold milk, yeah. turn the air on. It was summertime, turn the air on. Let her lay down, and she gotta go through all the trips. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you gotta have that water right there with you. You know what I'm saying? Just sitting there, I'm damn near bathing in it, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get it. So that's what that was about. So, so Steph was like, basically, like, I ain't do it, like, but I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't finna stop fucking with the nigga because he spiked the punch and you the only one drunk it. Like, mm. like you should have, like, I mean, it's just certain shit because, like, you ain't supposed to just, yeah. like, go for head over heel for it. Like, yeah. I don't know you. I seen you pouring a drink. I'm not fucking with that shit. Like, come on. My mama taught me that when I was a kid. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, for real. You know what I'm saying? So she fell out with that. And then, man, I just, I just was like, shit, like, well, shit. You know what I'm saying? Come on, like I got the house. You know what I'm saying? Like she stay with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. but 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 still, bro. Like at the end of the day, my nigga. Like you can understand from me, and I hope everybody understand. Like I went through hell just trying to stay married, my nigga. Yeah. I just want to be I married. Tell you care about it. Yeah, no, no. I, I still to this day, my nigga. Like I would never. Like I don't call her ex-wife because I feel like she didn't do no wife type shit. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like she was a good baby mama. So let me ask you, if you... Not even a good baby you, mama now. Like, I'll take that back. It's now. two questions. First question is, would you, what would you tell Scrappy going into the marriage? We at the wedding, and you got a chance to go tell him something. That's yeah. the first question. Yeah. And then the second question is, would you get married again? But I want to answer yeah, the first okay. one. Okay. First question... I would, I would run up in there and I would like, bro, you don't even know this bitch, bro. Mm. Like, what are you doing? Well, like, you don't even know her. Is everybody's here. That's why I said wedding know. day. Everybody's yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, like, like wedding day. But, but we, we had some private shit. Got you. It, it was, it was like, it was, it was like me, her, and her pastor. Got you. Oh. We was in Compton. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And or L.A. Where we was at? You know what I'm saying? I don't know all they shit. I know my shit. Yeah. But uh, and it was a. Uh, a real decorated pastor, like he he's solid, he logic. I mean, yeah. he's legitimate. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And he had his sister sing um, some um, what's our lady? Uh, same shit that was sung at Gucci them wedding. It was um, uh, oh, no. not Kiki White. It was older. Um, Patty old, Labelle. Patty Labelle. Son of Patty Labelle song. And we sat there. He said, just hug each other and talk to each other. And I hugged her and I talked to her. It was real. It was it was real to me. 
it was a real wedding to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really want the extra people being there to, to fuck it up. I just wanted to be with her. I wanted to love on her, and she cried. I, I, I shed tears. And it was real to me, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. But once that, that other shit came out, we in Jamaica. I ran into y'all in the Bahamas. I don't know if you remember, when we was at- Was she Atlanta. pregnant? I think she was pregnant. She was pregnant, yeah. I was yeah. walking out the hotel, and I yeah. was walking yeah. in, and I spoke yeah. to y'all. Yeah, she, she was, was pregnant. pregnant. Yep. And Cud told me straight up, she was like, I don't like going on vacation. That's you with that shit. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, I really been doing this shit thinking like you love this shit. <laughs> like, mm. And I'm doing like Cud did. Cud said everything to put me down, bro. And to make me feel like I won the real, I won that nigga. You Why know you what I'm saying? Because she wanted what I had. You know what I'm saying? She wanted like, she, like did y'all not see her making the whack rap songs? Mm. I mean, they, I mean, I mean, I didn't say they were rap. The people said they were rap. Tell you a fun fact. No, I don't want you to do it yet. Rap songs. Hold on, hold on. And I never, like I just told you, when I when it came to rap, I tried to uplift her. Mm -hmm. Even though that was my my neck of the woods, yeah. she tried to downplay me. You know what I'm saying? When it came to my rap, you know, she tried to tell me like, maybe you should stop. You ain't, wow. you know, ain't nothing happening for you. You know real what I'm legend, saying? Though. Real legend. What? Real legend. But but she didn't look at me as that. Cud told me straight up. Cud like, I don't like shit. You scrap. I mean, but I look at you like, you know, you the kid's daddy. Like, I'm so oh, wow. shit. Like, <laughs> and it's cool. I mean, it's cool to me because I love my kids and I am my kid's daddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be that till I die. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be that even when I'm dead. I'm. I'm, everybody's gonna know that I love my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I put everything before, I put everything before myself when it comes to my kids. I love, I love them motherfuckers right there. Like them kids, like fuck everybody else, fuck my daddy, my mama, my sister, my brother, everybody else on the earth. I love my kids. I'm around for my kids. If you ain't around my kids, mama, daddy, I don't care if they did something wrong, fuck you. And that's it. That is just fuck you. You can go on about your business. You ain't even gotta talk to me no more. Cause I'm, when you call me, I'm gonna say I'm still on the same shit. I'm with my kid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's it. You know what I'm saying? You know okay. that's how my mama I'm raised me. Way, that's kid. how my mama raised me. My mama told me straight up. She was like, if Jesus came down today and said, "Listen, it's either me or your kid," cause say she gonna choose her kids. Yeah, I love my kids. I was like, damn, I ain't gonna choose my kid when it come to God, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he should want you to. You know what I'm saying? Because he feel like that about us, about right? Us, so okay. So I'm riding for mine. Okay, exactly. Period. So it's like I look at her, cuz, and I be like, damn, bro, like, if you could have just treated me like a real husband, cuz, if you could have, if you could have, like, came in and was just like, some simple as the turnaround video on Love and Hip Hop when they, when you turn around and you're on the beginning, cuz was mad that I was on there. Mm. And she wasn't on there. Why? And I couldn't come home and get the, ah, oh, baby, you got on there. You finally got on there because you've been on there since the beginning. And they've been putting this nigga Stevie J and everybody else on there. They never put you on there, but baby, you finally got on there. Cubs was crying when I got home. Mm, Cubs was like, yeah, you, yeah, I heard. Oh, uh, Sierra was in there with you. You know what I'm saying? You went, I was like, it wasn't nobody in there with me. I just did the shit by myself. Like, they wanted me to come. I mean, they probably were there earlier, but I, you know what I mean? Cole was mad. Cause I, I said, listen, I said, if you could take that, take that out, like, take yourself out of it. Yeah. And just, like, you my wife, my nigga. Like, that's us. I, I said, it's us together. Like, my One nigga, even if you own it or not. One of us up it's just us. us. Yep, we union. If it's just me on there, we up there. If it's just you on there, we up there. Right. Bro, I done, I done passed up a lot of shit because I was married to her because I knew how she felt. She'd be like, oh, yeah, they, you know what I'm saying, they did respect you because they ain't picked me. Mm -hmm. They they pick you, but they ain't, they ain't like, if, if it's an out-of-town trip or some shit on for a, a, a different show or something, they ain't picked me. Look how they did respect you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there was never a point you just told her, like, I'm lit. No, yeah, no, nah, nah. you know I mean? I'm not. I don't, I don't. I don't look at myself like I don't. I, I'm not you like self. I'm not self. Like I don't absorb. Like I don't look at myself and be like, oh, I'm that nigga. Like I've been that nigga. Like if you make me say it, I'm gonna say it. You know what I'm saying? But 
I'm definitely not finna say it to my wife. You drove me crazy though. Because she definitely you, drove me crazy. Because you never said it in that light. I never, I never did that. I never, even even when I was helping her, my nigga, like she was talking about her friend Malaysia, how she was doing her, how she was tripping on this shit. I was like, but yeah, like, but your nigga, the nigga you with, he really famous though. Yeah. Like, love and hip hop didn't make me. Yeah. I was famous for real before that shit even came out. Absolutely. Like, like none of these reality bitches, None of these reality niggas could ever stand up against me. Like, like, could nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of their accolades, my nigga. None of them could stand up against me and be like, oh, they bigger than me. Yeah. I'm going to look at them and be like, cuz, you just got here. Yeah. Take a seat, my nigga. Because yeah. guess what? I don't need a nigga. And that's not even your personality. That's that, the best that, part about you. That, like, that, that's not even my personality. Yeah. I don't even stand up on people yeah, like bro, that, bro. That, I, nigga, I've been but, Never see you do that. No, nah, but, but look, but they make you want to do that shit. They make you want to stand up and be like, listen, nigga, like that, that shit you doing right now, nigga, I could speak silent, nigga, and they gonna give me the same attention. Mm. Nigga, I could sit by myself on, on, on Instagram, nigga. I could go on live right now, nigga, and they gonna take it and put it on a blog, nigga. Mm -hmm. Why they not doing that about you? Yeah. Why when you post something, it don't go nowhere? Mm. Why? Mm. Ask, listen, ask yourself that question, my nigga. If you really bigger than Scrap, why you not lit like Scrap, though? Scrap just turned 40. Scrap just turned 40. Why you not lit like that? Why is that nigga lit like a little nigga, though? Yeah. Why? Because God blessed him with that. Mm. God gave him that. You and you can't it take it from him. Nah. You can't take it from him. You can lie. You can say scrap ain't did nothing for you. You can say you you went and hustled by yourself while you were pregnant, while you was married to this nigga. Guess what? You still got to do the same thing now. Why you ain't doing it now? Why you ain't taking big trips now like how you was taking? Mm -hmm. And you got kids. You were taking your kids and everything. You was you was gone. You was out of here. Mm -hmm. But it was somebody helping pay for that shit. Yeah. It was somebody right there with you. Yeah. How you forget about that shit? How you forget that when you was in the house with Steph, nigga, you didn't have that same nigga. You had some niggas with you, but you didn't have that nigga. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about these independent niggas. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas that you run around, that you was running around with. Yeah. They wasn't me. They wasn't me, my nigga. They was never me. That's why I became your husband and they didn't. Come on, my nigga. If I told her straight up, I said, oh, you picked me because I was just a good nigga, huh? Cuz say, why would I pick a worse nigga? Mm. Damn. Mm. I said, wow, so you really calculated about this shit. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, a word that I learned because we run out of. Nah, man, yeah, fuck I mean, that shit. On. I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> nah, nah, Listen, hey, motherfuckers, hey, motherfuckers need to know, nigga. Hey, when, you, when a motherfucker bring you in and they already got solid foundation in their life, my nigga. Don't try to come in and rewrite history, my nigga, because it ain't, it ain't gonna work for you. It ain't gonna help you, especially when they favorite by God, my nigga, you, it ain't gonna work for you. It ain't gonna work for you because you gotta show and prove that I can do it, I, did, I was doing it before and I was doing it after this nigga. I don't see you. I don't see you nowhere. I don't see you nowhere. When they, when they post me, nigga, I just be popping my collar, my nigga. I be talking about some shit that don't even got nothing to do with life. And they still post me on their blogs, my nigga, for real. You can go around the world, my nigga, and you can't find a motherfucker that really don't give a fuck about you than me. You can go around the world. And I'm saying this to a specific person. You can, you can go around the world and, and not find a one person that don't care for you than me. You can't find them. My auntie said it's her, but it's me. My auntie ain't got enough weight like me. Like, I, I'm for real. Like, I really don't care. Like, only thing I care about, cuz, and I don't want to, nah, my, 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 my home is right here. I don't think I give a fuck about and what God, I feel like God put my eyes on and my mind and my heart on is my kids, my nigga, no. because they need me. Yeah. They need to grow up and they need to have the same opportunity 
that God blessed me with, the mm. light that they bless, that God blessed me with, I need to give it to my kids, mm. not these bitches. Mm. You know what I'm saying? These bitches, they don't give a fuck. They, oh. they, they, they feel, they feel like they was meant to have it. Yeah. Where well, if you was meant to have it, you gonna still have the it. The only person that deserve everything you got is, is my kids, my, kids, my nigga. Not my mama, not like my daddy. Cause, like cause guess what? Cause guess what? I told my mama, my dad. I said, I said it was, it was parts in, in, in my life. My nigga, y'all didn't even get help from me, my nigga. Yeah. And I went through shit, my nigga. Y'all weren't there for me, my yeah. nigga. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to be there for my kids, though. I'm going to be there for them. I'm going to be there for them, my nigga. And it's none they mamas. It's none nobody can say to me, nigga. I'm going to go hard, my nigga. That's and that first baby mama mine, that's who I rip, my nigga. That's who I rip. That's that's the solid motherfucker that I, I was supposed to rip in the beginning. Ooh. That's the solid motherfucker. Because guess what? She was there with me when I first came in, nigga. Oh, wow. When, when I was saying head bust on the stage and I ain't had no money in my pocket, that's who was with me, my nigga. She ain't see no money. She ain't get nothing from me, my nigga. Nothing at all. She ain't even know I was going to make it, my nigga. That's who was with me, nigga. The other motherfucker came in after I already done made it and she seen what it did, nigga. She seen what it did. She seen what she need to get with. But the motherfucker that was first, motherfucker ain't see shit. Motherfucker seen a nigga homeless, nigga. Motherfucker seen, and might I add, my nigga, when I went through my divorce, nigga, I, I put money up to make sure that motherfucker got a house and my kids had somewhere to stay. Mm. And I was homeless, nigga, and I ain't have no car. I ain't have nowhere to stay. I was staying in the hotels, nigga. Shout out to the Starling Hotel, nigga, that, that held me down, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? The Starling Hotel, shout out to my nigga right there. You see my nigga? My nigga Swift right there, he, he nigga drove me around. Shout out to D the problem, he drove me around. Shout out to True, niggas, niggas talk to me every day. Shout out to Diamond who talked to me every day. My auntie, my mama, like, those were the people that was there with me. My kids, they was there smiling in my face, showing me that I was the greatest dad in the world, nigga. Ooh. And I couldn't do nothing for them at the time, Ooh. but spend time with them. I ain't had Ooh. no money, I ain't have nothing. But they showed me, all these people showed me that I was somebody, my but nigga. You know what you did more than anything, bro? You did what a man was supposed to do. You held it in and you held everybody down and you made sure everybody was straight before you. Yeah. That's always been what and daddy, I'm always that was like always that, what nigga. daddy is supposed to do. Yeah. And that's being killed right now because motherfuckers is worried about who paying all the bills or who taking me on vacation. Nah, nah, Cud told Not me. Not even you, up. I'm just saying in general. Nah, Cud told me straight <laughs> up. Cud told me straight up, nigga. Cud told me straight up, nigga, like you ain't did like told her friends and the whole world, I ain't do shit for her, bro. Mm. But if you look at it now, if everybody just pause, look at it then, and look at it now, you will see the big difference in what she do for the kids and what I do for the kids. Mm. You will see a real big difference. Not taking her mama away from her because she is a great mom. Great mom. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Great mom. Mm -hmm. Great mom. Put that shit in. At least that's what we see on, ground, on the ground. You know what I'm saying? But when you see my kids on the ground, you see them laying on me. Yeah. You see them smiling. Mm. You see them playing. You see them having a great time. You see them not being coerced or coerced to say anything yeah. out the blade. I'm not showing them throwing a, a, a basketball through the hoop. I'm showing them being kids. You ain't even made it that far yet to yeah. know what a basketball goal is. Mm. But look what your mama making you do. Mm. She making you show out for the camera. Mm. I'm not like that. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. I'm not like that. And I'm going to swear to God, to everybody else, this is the last time I'm going to even speak on Charlotte. The last time I'm going to speak on Charlotte, because I don't even like speaking on her. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody that, that put me down so far like that, my nigga, don't have the, don't even have the, you, you, you don't even have the wherewithal to even be in my mentions, my nigga. For sure. I would not post you. Yeah. I would not speak on you. Yeah. I would not allow myself to be even angered by you, my mm. nigga. Like if you if you like really go look at her page and look what she really be doing, my nigga, up under the up under the the, the eye and the light, my nigga, it's some evil shit, my nigga. Mm. And that's what they do, my nigga. If you weren't meant to be with somebody, if you weren't solid with that person, you gonna have hate for that person. Yeah. I don't have hate for her. Mm. I just see what she do. You feel bad for what how the outcome of it. I feel bad for the outcome. Yeah. I feel bad for my babies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Baby, you ain't supposed to. You ain't supposed to divorce your, your husband just over one little thing. Cause uh -huh. why did that? Why did that one little girl right there that means nothing, nobody else? Why did that mean so much to you? Why did that mean so much to you? Why did Why did it hurt so bad for that dude to do that? Was you doing something? Mm. What were you doing when you was at your job every day and it wasn't? You only had ten orders. 
Mm. Why did you have to stay all day to six o'clock in, in the evening? Mm. And you left early in the morning. Why? Why? Let's since because she's like I'm speaking my. So you think she cheated on you? So do you think she cheated on you? I don't think, bro. I don't think nothing. Okay. I know all my shit. I don't speak none of that. I don't know. Gotcha. I don't so you know it. I don't know. So I know it. I okay. know the person. I know the people. I done seen pictures. I done seen oh, everything. Wow. Mm. Shit. You feel what I'm saying? It's one thing that I just seen. A nigga that don't want to be caught up in some bullshit, he ain't going to say nothing. He going to fuck on your bitch, yeah. but he ain't going to say nothing. He'll be right there in front of you. Yeah. He'll give you dap and everything, nigga. Mm. He'll show love to you and everything. He'll respect you and everything. He'll respect you more than that bitch would. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So at the end of the day, nigga, I know everything, nigga. Mm. And there's nothing that nobody can tell me. That's why I feel so good about my life now. Man, I ain't gonna lie, That's bitch. why I feel so peaceful. We need, we need it for the love. We need it for the love, love of Scrappy show. This nigga needs to Bro, this nigga needs to be on The Bachelor, bro. Bitches are gonna go crazy for him. Bitches that believe you, I want them to believe you. Yeah, yeah, your mammy and all your family, oh, I want shit. them to believe you. I want them to believe you. Because guess who I believe? I believe me and I believe God and I believe what he put in front of me and I believe where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? I believe when, 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 listen, when I, when God told me straight up the first time, he said, let that girl go. Oh, wow. And I didn't do it. Mm. I stayed because I was so conflicted about letting her back out to the world. I was like, nah. I got kids with her. I can't do that. I, I done put too much into it. Cud told me straight up, he said, either you do it or I do it. Wow. And when I do it, it's going to hurt. Wow. And I let him do it. And it hurt bad as fuck. Wow. And I was in pieces, my nigga, because I couldn't stand to hear how she talked to me. I couldn't stand to hear how she really felt about me. Mm. And I was a bitch ass nigga. I was a sucker nigga. You know what I'm saying? I went, I ain't shit. Like, she had. Hella niggas on her bumper before I came. Mm. I was like, well, shit, if it were hella niggas on your bumper, why aren't they there? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Why didn't you pick them? Yeah. Because that would have been the good point. Like, if, I mean, if you had the niggas, the right niggas, mm -hmm. if them the right niggas, then I wouldn't even be here right now. Exactly. And I hate you for that. Mm. I hate you that you picked me. Mm. I hate you that you pick me. I, I hate that you pick me. I understand that emotion. You feel me? I know that I, because I love. I, I love the what outcome. I got from it. Exactly. I love the lesson. I love my kids, but I hate that you pick me. Yep. I hate that I had to learn that lesson. I had. To, I gave you the best of me, and that wasn't good enough. Yeah, it wasn't. And good I still enough. lost. It was never good and enough. I gave you the best of me. I, I still that. lost because she's able to go around and lie to people. She's able to go around. My whole thing is, why you not taking the same trips? <laughs> why you not? She been creating a narrative because I, I used to go to Miami to get money because it's an easy place to get money. I would go there and she would like, oh, she she have a, a little spot to go to. She had a spot to go to in Houston one time. Uh huh. So could go to Houston. She take all the babies. She take all her family with her. And then they were going to L.A. After that, I was like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't up for this family. Mm. Reunion this time. Yeah. I go to all the other ones, but I'm I'm confused yeah. because I'm hearing different stories about your age, nigga. And I don't want to. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing that shit. I'm tired of hearing that shit for real. I'm tired of going and hearing about stories that I would have never experienced at my age. I was like, I'm four. I was four years old then. I was four years old, or I was three years old, or something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You talking about like your family sitting here telling me shit? And you, like they were like you were really involved in that shit. Like if you was involved, you was a very mature four year old. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm like, that's my new my nigga. The lie about your age. Yeah. To show me a, a ID that that just, you're you're you, you're my age. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. you get locked up, and I'm I'm not even with you no more. And I'm seeing you still do the shit. Mm. So if we're gonna tell the truth, we're gonna speak truth on everything. They like to speak truth on my mama. They like to shoot my mama down. They like to shoot me down. Shoot baby mama down. Yeah. But look, though, look at what you're doing, my nigga. This is what you're doing. You lying about your age. I don't know if it's because of the nigga she talking to. Like, yeah. she like to switch the age up with yeah. the nigga. But I'm like, cuz, you need to stop it, nigga. I turned, <laughs> listen, I just turned 40, my nigga. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love that I'm 40. I love that I walk out on stage and the crowd still go bonkers over me. Yeah. And it's 100,000 people. Yeah. I, 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 and, and I still, and motherfuckers say I still look like how I look when yeah, I was a little nigga. Yeah, absolutely. 
You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't say that. Yeah. I don't go around saying that. Yeah. That's what people say. Yeah. I don't. I don't wish that people say that shit. Yeah. I just want to feel that way. Mm. When I go to the gym, I go to the gym for a reason. Mm. When I drink my water, I drink it for a reason. When I be nice to people, regular people, whether they done did something for me or not, I do that for a reason. I do that because that's what we're supposed to do. Exactly. That's that's what we're supposed that's to do. That's what we're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to go, I don't, I, I have a judge order situation with my kids. I don't, I don't even have to go get my kids, my nigga. Mm. I don't have to show up for my visitation. Mm. I don't have to do none of that shit. I do that shit because I love my kids, nigga. And you I love my regardless. kids and I'm always be there for them. Period. You know what I'm saying? It's not an act. It's not an act. I'm not taking no pictures like how she do on the plane. I want to take a picture with all her kids <laughs> and show that she by herself. This is why we married, my nigga. Like, yeah. you want to show people you by yourself while you're married? You the dumb one. Yeah. You the dumb one. Why are you even married then if you ain't got your husband with you? Mm. You ain't got your husband with you. Want, you she been trying to make me look bad since we were together. Man. That's, the, that's the kind of crazy shit I was going through. And I was just sitting there like... Yo, like, chill out on that shit, like. And, and what do you call it? You was diagnosed with narcissistic. Narcissistic abuse. Abuse, abuse. okay. Yeah. And I never heard that. And hit my page saying you can't be diagnosed with that. You can only be diagnosed with being a narcissistic person. And I said, you got it that's all bullshit. wrong. That's bullshit. If somebody tell you. got it all wrong. Yeah, that's bullshit. Because I, I went to a real psychologist. And then, the, and then they can tell I you what you're going through. I went to a real through. specialist, yeah. right? I didn't even know what I was going through. Yeah. They told me. Yeah. I didn't know what I was going through. Yeah. This girl told me that I was that person. So I was trying to get help for being that person. You were trying to fix yourself. I was trying to fix myself because she told me that I was a narcissistic person. She told me that I was a fuck nigga. She told me that I was a bad person, basically. So I went to go help myself. I went to go so I could be a better person for my kids and be a better, better baby daddy so we can kind of have that come, we can talk still. Coexist. Yeah. Coexist after the, the shit. For sure. But she made it worse, my nigga. She mm. made it worse after we got divorced, my nigga. She made it worse. I'm sitting there looking like, I did all this to, fix, to, to make sure we don't go through shit and we still going through shit. Mm. But that's because you competing with the world. And, you know, like, that's why I always say daddies are necessary because daddy give you the confidence. Like, fuck them other people. You compete with the world when you're in a relationship and they care about what the world think. If we weren't, like, I'm real big on that. If you worry about the world think, then go fuck with them. Yeah. I, only person you should worry about is my opinion because I'm my the only person opinion, that, I'm nigga. locked in with you. Bro, if I'm telling you when you wake up in the morning and I don't know how many women get this shit, but I did this shit every fucking day. When she wake up, when she didn't have her hair on, when she just had them little braids in the hair before she put a little shit on, I say, baby, you are beautiful. And I meant that shit. You know what I'm saying? I said, baby, you are beautiful. Like, like you, man, I love you, cuz. Like, yeah. you, you, hey, you that nigga, my nigga, you yeah. that woman. Like, yeah. for real. Like, I, I put her up. Yeah. Sometimes I put her up higher than my mama, my nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I feel bad about that because my mama is a solid motherfucker. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm. And when I looked at that shit, I said, damn, bro, I really put her on a pedestal. With a lot of shit, my nigga. Yeah. And it's my fault. It's my fault. I did that. So, Master Budget, it was one thing that I saw, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I hate getting in the middle of shit, but yeah. when you follow Instagram, you run into shit. Yeah. I saw a video of, of your first kid's mom saying, I didn't move on because I was so in love. I, I was still holding on to him. Yeah. How does that make you feel? And I feel like you, I feel like that's. The, the one for you, but that's not my business to say, but like... Everybody say that. So... But for I, her to say that, it was yeah. one of those like, damn, nigga, that's what it's about. Like, because you only I get one that, love. Because cause I'm going to tell you, she even got the chance to see how I am as a man mm. with, when it came to Bambi. Mm. She seen how I was. She seen how there I was mm. as a husband. You know what I'm saying? She seen how there I was as a daddy with... Even her baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She know me. Yeah. She know I got a heart. I yeah. Go. You know what I'm saying? She mm -hmm. know I'm not here to fuck nobody up intentionally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to fuck you over. Mm -hmm. Like, if I could have a good situation with my baby mama number two, I would really have it. Like, I would. Listen, me and Erica talk about this all the time. Nigga, if we could all three be together, that shit would be dope. If we could all not not be together as in a couple, but <laughs> no, I like together. that idea. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, would love I didn't like that idea, but, 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 but I'm just saying. But just as you a mama, you a mama, and I'm both of y'all kids' daddies. Yeah, and we can really have a family coexist, coexist, and we can go out and have fun with all the kids. That's what it's about. You know the, what kid, the kids seeing the adults. 
put be their be, put their egos to the side the kids and, and be, seeing the adults put, be adults right. and put the nigga, family in front of everything else. Yes, That's beautiful. My nigga, nice blended family. Nice blended family. But you know why I can't do that, bro? Because I, the lady, have told me what she, how she really feel about me, all how she always felt about me. Mm. And I sit there and I look at that and I see that she write her little book and say she the only one was doing everything. She was the only one doing everything. And didn't want to give me no props. That fuck with didn't you. Didn't want to give me no daddyism. So I said, okay, good. That's cool. What all the thing I can do is separate myself from you, let you go on your way. I'm not see, I'm not even speaking bad about it now. Yeah. I'm speaking truth, my yeah. truth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. What I seen, what I witnessed, what I went through. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm, I wish nothing bad on her. Of course not. She's the mother of your kids. She's the mother of my kids. I don't I wish all the best for her. And she a good person. She might have just been a good person for you. For me. Yeah. I no, listen to me. Come back come back this way. Yeah. Come back this way. Yeah. I could never say what you said. Mm. She's the devil to me. Mm. She's the devil. Mm. She's the devil. I'm talking about she done did shit under when when the people that listen, man, when y'all don't get to see this shit. I get to see this shit. I get to walk in this shit. I get to live this shit. Yeah. And when people are evil, my nigga, you just have to call it what it is, my nigga. And I'm going to say that she's an evil person, my mm. nigga. At first, I used to give her all the problems. I'd be like, man, she cuz is like yeah. a good person. Like, right. she like, but then when we went through this divorce, I started seeing like the real shit. True like, colors. Like, fuck the pain that you go through. Cause I went through pain, you know, with her too. I went through pain. But I'm not finna put her. He's trying to hurt you. I wasn't trying to hurt her. Yeah. Like, cuz is really telling people, like, she did everything by herself. I hate that. Well, if you did everything by yourself, guess what you can do right now? Keep everything going. by yourself. <laughs> so, on that note, by the way, Chru, Chru, listen, I'm just telling you, too. I wanna do another one with him because I wanna talk, I wanna talk about the fun he's having. Yes. But this was brother therapy. And I need to let my brother have therapy. No, I want to talk shit. I want to talk shit. You want me to release my shit? We have to. Because in my mind, it was like, this is the least I've ever talked on an interview. But I really felt like it's not on me to talk. It's about on letting, because as men, and by the way, I like that it's not a woman here doing all that crazy shit while our brother is telling, because that's the fucking problem. And let me shout out somebody that really, that I dated a long time ago that, Bam just went and did an interview with and didn't even know it. Who? Amanda Seals. Mm. Amanda Seals always, she always stand up. She always stand up for the women. She always stand mm. up for the women. But I wonder, did she tell Bam that she fucked her, her, her ex-husband before? What? You feel me? I wonder. I love this nigga Scrappy, Scrappy. I wonder if she tell that. Sometimes because, you got to. Because, because she let a lot of stuff out. She let a lot of stuff out. She, she support the women. Whoa. Amanda support the women. I support Amanda. No, I ain't gonna lie to you. No, I got you. calm this shit down. I support Amanda because she stand on a lot of facts that as black people, we gotta stand on. Agreed. I support Amanda. But I wonder when Amanda was, was sitting there taking my ex baby mama of baby mama truth, did she tell, did she sit and have that conversation with her and say, oh, I fucked with him before. I took like, the dick too. I, I, I was there. I don't like it. I don't like that nigga either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took the dick too. I, I like yeah. what you said yeah. right now because I don't like that nigga. And this is why we have to do shit like this as men. Because, mm. because talking is has now been taken from us to the point where people say a man is being sassy because he's talking. Oh, no, nah, And that's crazy that's to me. That's what told me. Nah, that's, that's, that's what wrong. That's what number two told me. Oh yeah, like you used to. Yeah, that's all everybody know you for is arguing with bitches on the show. Ooh. Hey, listen, check this out. I will argue with all the bitches. You feel what I'm saying? To stand up for all the niggas that's doing right. And guess what? Me? And we stand doing and, right. And we not standing the, with them. The but the niggas that's doing right. But the niggas that's doing right. And we standing with them. So hey, all the all, all, right. all the women that's doing wrong, nigga, fuck you, fuck you up the ass. And if you stand up, if you stand up for a woman and you ain't heard both sides of the story. And you just gonna stand up for them just cause they a woman? Right. It's bullshit. I agree. You a bullshit. Cause I ain't standing up for no nigga. I ain't standing up for no woman. And I ain't seen both sides. I wanna hear both sides, nigga. I wanna hear both sides. Y'all women be hurt, my nigga. Y'all women be hurt by the wrong nigga. Y'all fuck with the wrong nigga. You fuck with the wrong nigga. And so you mad. You hurt. And so you wanna side with this bitch that ain't went through nothing that you went through. 
You know what I'm saying? She ain't went through nothing that you went through. Cub, for real. Like, Cub had a whole husband. Had a whole... She could have just stayed there and been good. You know what I'm saying? Could have, like, one... Like, come on. Wet wife... Crap, wet wife... Fuck up they whole situation for one thing, nigga. Mm. Nah, nigga, you thought you could stand up, nigga. You thought you could stand up and be the same woman that you were with the husband. But it don't work like that. It's the light that God shines on both of us. You feel me? And once you do the bad thing and you do you be the worst person in the world because you wanna be the you wanna get back, it don't work for you. You better off praying. You better off praying for me. You better all praying for him. I'm telling you, I'm favored. I don't know if y'all ain't seen it, nigga. Scrappy is highly favored, nigga. I'm highly favored, nigga. And, and Scrappy's, and Scrappy's yeah. gonna be on part two. We gonna do this again. I love this nigga, Scrappy. Yeah. 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 Yo, this is the God show, and we are out. Scrappy done took the whole show over.